Oh, you're a cat boy now? What is what is that? Oh, we're looking. You look good. Don't back that thing up. On me. All right, all right. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. <laughs> you ready? I am ready. Hey, hey everybody, everybody, welcome back to You Should Know Podcast, episode 100. Round of applause, please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 100. One more round of applause for episode 100. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. We did do we it. We did it. Bring it in, buddy. Hey, proud of you? Proud of you? I'm proud of you. Oh, I'm more proud. I'm more proud of you. Uh, my hand's on top. <laughs> yeah, I love... Oh, hello. hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> There's so much confetti everywhere. It is episode 100. Hey, everybody. What? Scale of 1 to 10, how tight is your crotch? Uh, I have, I have tight crotch syndrome. I'm at about 11.3. <laughs> the pants are tight. It feels like someone has mangled my manhood and is literally trying to make a closed fist. Now, now episode 100 for the audio listeners, we are wearing suits. You can't see, and we're not wearing socks. Woo! Rented, rented tuxes with no socks. Yeah, we're. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie though. Huh. I, I know it's episode 100. The, the whole theme is unity, and we've made it. Yeah. I got socks on. You do? Not, I have socks on. You been boost with me. I, I have socks on. Have I been pranked? I ha- you are raw dogging a rental boot when you have talon and helmet toes. That's a federal crime. <laughs> okay, you know. I have I, a small layer of fabric. At least I have the decency of knowing what to do when I'm wearing a suit. That's very true. Damn it. <laughs> Hold on. I knew I was about to. <sighs> okay, and a, a special. Okay, before we start, if you're new here, if you haven't already, you look below, you see the subscribe button isn't pressed. What are they, Cam? You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see a comment section that fulfills with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your good karma. Oh Hello. Oh my God. It feels so good it to have good. you that's, here that's, whenever that's, I do. I that's love good. it. That's, I like I it. I love it. I like it. Now, let's break down what episode 100 is going to be. We have a, a packed studio here with everybody that has been here since episode one. Y'all look so good. We have the Y'all whole so fam good. and team behind us. This episode is going to be riddled with surprises announcements but before we do any announcements any surprises like i said episode 100 is going to change the you should know podcast forever you got to stick around through the whole episode you don't know when it's going to come it's going to randomly pop up a surprise will be coming to you but before we do that i think it's only right we pop a little champagne it's Hello. a celebratory i l- let's break something down real quick <laughs> let's break something down i know i'm the hardest on on us I am the hardest on us. I give us a hard time, but it's because I want the best for us. But That's I think true. episode 100 is the time where we sit back for a second and we appreciate what we've done. Now, first things first. Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> now, first things first, uh, Cam joined, obviously, and that's where we started the 1 to 100. He, for the first, how many episodes were you a teacher? Um, if my math is mathing, let's see, back to summer of 23 was, so I would say around, what was that, six, seven months, so seven times, so about maybe episodes all the way up to 65-ish I was teaching. So from episode one to 65, and we're only on episode 100, Cam was a full-time teacher. He would go from teaching to coaching basketball to driving 45 minutes in traffic. Oh, God, no. In traffic, is about an hour 10. I love, like, I, love, I, love, I love you, buddy. Give me those miles, guy. Because if I ever get audited, it was an hour 10. Hour 10 in traffic, swear to God. And that 07 the Honda Pilot. 07 Pilot. Dealing with children all day. Man. Coming here, giving full energy for me, for this company, for this podcast, and for all you watchers and listeners. So one time, round of applause for Carlos Cam. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. And then some milestones that we hit. From episode one to one hundred, we hit a hundred thousand subscribers. One hundred k, I dude, I remember that like it was yesterday. It was it was so amazing. It was so surreal. Speaking of, you were in your classroom when we hit it, and I was facetiming you around I your was. students. I was. I actually demanded some of the students. I said, "Are are are, are what are y'all doing right now?" <laughs> yeah. I said, "Okay, we're not. You're done with your work. Just just be here for me in this in this exactly. moment." Exactly. And then uh, now we're pushing up on half of a million. Insane. That deserves a round. Insane. That half deserves of a round. Million. Um, that's crazy. Um, some more statistics in from episode one to one hundred. We were top. We hit we charted top multiple, five multiple times. Top five comedy podcasts on Spotify. 
Yep. We also hit top 15 podcasts on Spotify. All, all podcasts, genres, all genres. All genres. And um, we've also sold out one, two, three live shows. Three live shows now. Three live shows. God, it, it, we, we've been blessed. God we has been, been watching over. Very blessed. You should know podcasts. And highly favored. The, the most important thing is we have the best fan base out of everybody. I am, when we meet y'all on the streets, when we, whenever we go to live shows, we do the meet and greets, um, the energy, the comment section, the discord, the watch party, all of these things, we're uh, so blessed and so thankful for y'all. Uh, y'all do things that most other podcast fan bases don't do, so don't ever go one day without knowing how much we appreciate you and everything you do. One time for the You Should Know podcast fans. All right, all right, all right, Mr. Sappy. Since we already had that, it's not as it sappy, right? Yeah. Oh, my sweet what the Oh, my God. What the oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And that goes to show there's never a dull moment with you. Should not, there's a hole in our ceiling, and his entire left wrist is drenched, and it's going to be sticky. You did? No, you did not. My wife just said she shook that bottle up. Hope she's probably thinking I was gonna open it, but yeah. <laughs> jokes on you. Your couch is soiled. Soiled. And this is the new one. We switched couches. God, I don't even have a flute. Oh, I, do, you, I don't have my have flute. A flute. Por favor. Okay, but while while he's pouring up his own glass, because it always seems. Thanks so much, Ryan. Thanks so much. Yeah, I guess I'll drink air. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll drink air. I'll drink, oh. I'll drink air. Yeah, I'll drink air. I'll drink air. Here you go, Kim. Guys, I promise you this is going to be a regular podcast. We have topics. We have everything. But we just want to take some time to appreciate this moment. We've worked very hard for this. Um, it's been a lot of ups and downs. So, more ups than anything. So but. going so going back to that, right? Yeah. Even though Peyton's is the, the sap god and he, and he knows how to pull at heartstrings, right? This man, honest. this man, oh, I'm about to be honest too. This man deserves his flowers as well. And he always ends up pouring a bottle while he's getting talked about or, or responding to an email. He doesn't know how to take the love that he 100% deserves. So what do you want me to do? How do I act? I want you to sit there and listen to these words because they're 100% true. Okay. So yes, I did work hard. Yes, all of our friends worked hard. Yes, you have worked hard. Yes. But not a single ounce drop drip, nothing, none of this would be here if it wasn't for you. No, you, you had free education, denied it to chase your dream. You were a promising athlete, denied it, left it in the past because this is where your heart truly was. Yes. So to say we worked hard, is it's a true statement and it's very honorable, thank you, but you have 100% worked harder. None of us would be in the position we are without you. You chased a dream relentlessly. You have constant ambition and you absolutely followed what your heart was saying, and I believe that is for a reason. So, without you, you should know would not be a thing. Wow. So, round of applause to Uncle thank P. You, buddy. Can I get a hug? You can't get a hug. Oh, thank you, buddy. That's very nice. You're welcome. That's very nice. Um... Yeah, I'm not done. I got, I got a little more. I got Jesus a little more about Christ. Uncle P. I, I wanted to get, I wanted can't to, he can't see, he can't take it. So that's just the origin story, happiness, and, and you know, giving him his, his uh, homage, as some would say. I say flowers. It, it, well, it's flowers, right. homage, it's it, they're synonymous. But uh, Uncle P works relentlessly, like nonstop, and to a point where his loved ones, we, we need to tell him, yo, like, you you can you can come hang out for the night and he's just so he is dedicated to this for y'all so i know he already t tapped in on on the fans on how amazing y'all are but he literally like almost every second he is thinking what can we do for them how can we make this better what what went wrong here what could go better in this next one so he's always on his grind so it, it's just nothing but appreciation so yes you are hard on us mm -hmm. but i believe you're more hard on yourself and that has gotten you and all of us to where we are, but you should definitely, you know, give yourself more praise and more flowers more often because oh. you are a hardworking man and you deserve it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, so, Cam. You're I appreciate that. It's very nice. That's very nice. I actually do have one more. One more. It's not about you. No, it's not about you. Okay, I was about to say, I can't. It's, no, no, it's not. He's like, I'm crying over here. What if I looked at him and there was water running down? He was just like, you damn glasses. We look like the men in black. We do. Bit. You're the man uh, in white. Last one. I'm the man in white. I'm the man in white. Hello. Yeah. Last one is a very special shout out to uh, four people that I know are watching right now. His parents. Oh, yes. My parents. Oh, my God. Uh, to wrap it up quickly and not go into both of them, it, it takes a lot for your side to 
just support a young man that has free education, that could continue on college, that could continue and get a degree, that could stay in this, some would say, cookie cutter field and whatnot, to just support him when he said, Mom, Dad, yo, I want to drop out. Like, this is what I want to do. This yeah. is what means something to me. This is yes. how I'm going to impact the world. Yes. So your parents did that with open arms. Yes. It's more love than they could ever, you could ever imagine and yes. supported you the whole way. Thank so, you so much, parents. Mama Harden, sexy bald-headed Daddy Harden. And thank uh, you all and, so much. And I want to thank Preston as well. He's always, and Preston, he's yes, been, yes. He, he's, he doesn't know this, but he's been my biggest inspiration my entire life. So Thank you to all y'all. I did not intentionally leave you out. You're just not no, his father, No, he actually Preston. hates you, you're, No, Preston, Preston because of love your feet. You. I love you and your feet. I, I, they're amazing in person. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then thank you to my parents as well. It's, it's obviously a different story, but me saying, hey, I'm going to stop teaching. I'm going to stop this, you know, guaranteed job that I can do for a long time and build a pension and all that. I'm going to stop this to do something that I want to do and support my friend and believe and put all my chips on us and so it, it takes a lot from y'all as well obviously it's a different kind of yeah. dynamic but thank y'all for believing too i want to thank your parents as well too because i remember i had a conversation and i'm not going to say exactly what i said to your parents until it happens but i don't even know if they'll remember this conversation it was just i think it was either me and your mom or me your mom and your dad all in your kit in the kit in their kitchen and i said something to them about you about the podcast it hasn't happened yet but it is going to happen and i want to thank y'all for not making me feel crazy when i said this because whenever they their reaction to whatever i said kind of solidified that i knew it was going to happen so thank y'all for believing in us so shout out to the parents of ysk all right all right tears and everything they're over enough of the sappy shit it's like i take off my glasses i'm the one like (laughs) i'm like um, let's let's take a toast to let's episode 100, and then we're gonna get right into this stuff. It got so bright, it's so, so quick. Bright. Good lord! Cheers to the You Should Know to podcast. You should know podcast. All the people watching, listening. Cheers to your water, Red Bull, or champagne or if you got whatever it. you're doing. Hello. Uh, okay, oh, that's good. That's fantastic that we did this. But I think before we get into any of the regular You Should Know podcast stuff. I think it's time for the biggest surprise in You Should Know history. Now I'm gonna need everybody in here. I need all three of y'all to turn around. I gotta grab it out of my bag. I need all three, Ryan, you're included, turn around. I need you to, to, no, no, no. I need to, honestly, do not look back here. Like close your eyes whenever you're doing that. Don't look in that window. Yeah, look away and close your eyes. Please, 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 please. Peek. I'm not going to hurt I'm not, anybody. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not eating anything. Today. No, no, no. You're not eating anything. Okay. This is the biggest surprise in You Should Know podcast history. Nobody knows about this. Are you ready? Close your eyes, everybody. Now. Oh, God. Everybody close your if eyes. If something touches me, I have, the I, right, I have the right to hit it. If something touches me. Everybody. One, two, three. The new logo of the You Should Know podcast. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah. The official new logo of the You Should Know podcast. What? Yeah. We Bro. are. We have officially what? rebranded after a hundred episodes. I don't know if y'all know how hard this this process was. I do look you good. You look fantastic. <laughs> Bro, what? That's the new logo of the You Should Know podcast. Uh, it's only right. Pee. It only makes sense. The other one was whenever I first started it, and it, it carried on because it caught quick, and I wanted to do it right, and we, I feel like I hit the nail on the head with this one. Hopefully, it's good. Hope everybody likes it. We all approve. Okay. It's very, bro. So, you will never see the You Should Know podcast logo without Cam's face in it ever again. He is the You Should Know podcast. We are the You Should Know podcast, and this is now the official logo of the You Should Know podcast. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, my eyes are watering. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And even cooler, bro. You go ahead and say something. I, gotta I look can't say much. <laughs> go ahead, go. I was just staring at it, and it's like, it's so surreal. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> you cry? I'm not Don't to. cry, because I'll cry. I'm not trying to. I, do, I wasn't expecting that reaction. Now I'm crying. It's just coming. Yeah, well... I'm gonna be on my phone for a little bit. <laughs> I'm, try- I'm really trying to stop it. Like it's like a uh, my my heart's just getting warm. My eyes are watering, dog. Same. <laughs> it's bad. Don't, hey, you're, I, don't look at me. I feel like the bachelor party all over again. Oh, don't look at me. Okay. Well, that's gonna be uh, oh. uh 
every ah, I can't keep looking at it. I can't, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. Uh, no, I no, first off. <laughs> Whoever made it, wherever you got that from, I look good. I finally look good. I finally look good. That was my man. A character made of me. I always look disgusting. <laughs> I finally look good. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh. Wow. I wasn't expecting it to be an emotional thing, but now it is. That's why. That's why. That's why I never y- y'all, told you. Y'all don't even understand. I've been asking. I was like, yo, do I, do I need to bring something for this surprise? I was like, what, what is this surprise you keep saying? <laughs> Bro, yeah, that's gonna be uh, oh. the Instagram, the YouTube, uh, every branding. Um, we're gonna release merch with this logo on. Um, so yeah. Oh man. So the official you should know. I'm very happy with this. Uh, it feels better. It feels right. I like this a lot, and I want to shout out to the creator of this. And what makes it even better, the creator of this is a fan of the You Should Know podcast. His name is Logan McClellan. Shout out Logan, man. Um, I want to wow. see. His Instagram. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link his Instagram below in the description. He is a fantastic artist. The crazy thing is, I was just randomly going through my... Stop looking at me, bro. I, I'm, 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 God, I'm good. Damn. I'm good. Right. I'm good. Um, the crazy thing, I was going through my Instagram request, and he made a logo of your face in the thing. Just your face. And I said, that is fantastic. And this was a while ago. Bro, I do, I do look good. Bro, I've been hiding this for so long. So and it's so many times when you've been snooping on my like not snooping on my computer, but that's why I haven't put my computer for the ads recently. Because ah, like the off chance, I thought you were just a lazy bastard. And no, I was like I, I was trying to keep you away from my laptop at all all chances. But now I feel horrible. <laughs> I was like I was trying to keep you away from it. Um, my parents, damn, my parents reviewed it. Oh my god! Whenever we're off camera, I'm gonna show y'all. I've so many trials of different people I've gone through through these months to get this done. So bad, and I oh, want to show I know. you the I other ones. Tr- that's why I'm saying praise to Logan. <laughs> but Logan, I normally look like an ogre in in fan drawing. <laughs> Logan's Instagram is going to be put right here, so y'all can go follow him. He uh, he is a part of You Should Know podcast history forever. He made the the new logo. So one more time for Bro. the new logo of the You Should Know podcast. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. I can't hug okay. Logan, but I gotta hug you. Just oh, another yeah. hug. We're still hugging. Oh. Okay, oh. Buddy. I'm glad you like it. I was really worried that you wouldn't like it. Bro, that's okay. fire. That's so good. It's, like, it's look. so good. <laughs> I go, is this not me? Wow, bro. Wow. That, yeah, totally biggest right. biggest surprise is... Uh, <laughs> that's why I was saying the You Should Know podcast would never Man. be the same, and it's not. It is exactly how it should have been, how it should be. Um, so thank you for going 100 episodes with just looking at my 18-year-old face. I was going to look at your 18-year-old face for the rest of my life, so that's uh, fine. Another uh, uh, God. cheers to that, and then we're going to get into the rest of the episode. We're going to do an ad break and then get into the rest of the episode. Say less. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Manscaped! 2024 is here and is in full swing. That means it is time for a New Year's resolution check-in with our friends at Manscaped. Yes! Newsflash! It is never too late to level up your grooming game and keep your bush tamed. My bush is tamed. Manscaped's new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page on confidence this new year. I'm a living example of that. Oh, are you? Whether you're going for a trim or that clean shaven look, this trimmer has you covered. Trusted by over 10 million men worldwide, now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code PSH for 20% off plus free shipping. The ball has dropped, but don't drop the ball on your balls, blah. Introducing the MVP of 2024, Manscaped's fifth generation lawnmower. I love it. It's not just a trimmer, P. No, it's not. It's I your know. grooming side. I, I'd love it. Equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking little off the top. I love doing that. And a new foil blade to go smooth. Wherever your little Some, heart desires. Sometimes I want a bald turkey. Hey, you know what my favorite thing I, I ever got from Manscaped? What? Bald deodorant. Uh, do you use that? Oh my God, I had to give you mine. You, you use it so much. I use it so much. It's because I have sweaty crotch and nasty stench syndrome <laughs> from my crotch. I put that bald deodorant on. I have never been more confident. That's your favorite thing. You know what my favorite thing is? Tell me. It's absolutely waterproof. Oh, the lawnmower? I put that thing in the shower with, with me. With it's a little LED, LED light. Golly, you can see every hair and get it off. Yeah, get 20% off and free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com, Cameron. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer. And that's courtesy 
of Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. All right, we're back. We had to get our tears out. We are, but yeah, I had to literally go grab bathroom tissue and, and dab the eyes, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to get that sentimental. I was Bro, like, this I didn't, is going to be really like, cool for you know, the podcast. But You know all the thanks we said at the beginning? Yeah. It's like when I looked at that, all of it got balled into one mm-hmm. and just like hit me in the chest. And I was, it, it, my shit got warm and I was like, oh God, it's happening. Yeah, I've been sitting on that for so long and the fact that it's finally out, it feels so good. Shout out to Logan again. Shout out Logan, bro. That's, it was that's sick. Amazing. Um, Fantastic for keeping uh, keeping it a secret, but screw you at the same time. Yeah, golly, because you were like, I know I y'all were. You were like, what is the big? I feel like I should know the big surprise. I, I asked him every day. I was like, bro, do I need to like prepare something? I was like, what is what is this? Like, am I, am I bringing something? And or? every day I'd have to lie and be like, no, no, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell He's you. Like, no, I, I got it. it. I'm just like, oh, cool, you got <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that was the thank you part of the podcast. But before we end the thank yous, okay. I already know. I already know. There's probably some comment. You were already getting ready to fill out the comments. Y'all thought we forgot. What about? What about? What about? What about? Uh, uh, there is a massive, massive thank you that has to be issued. Big last one. I promise. And, and we're then get, we're gonna we're, get to the funny. We're getting to the goofies. We're getting to the stories. But you already know who we're about to thank. The one, the only, the HBIC herself. My beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, loving wife, Mama Liv. Mama Liv, one time. Round of applause for Mama Liv. So I'm going to say my piece. If you want to say something, you can. Oh, I but do. But Liv has been... I talked about the uh, the the parental aspect of trusting me, leaving my job. But, like, it's that times 10 when it comes to my wife. Yeah. So me and my wife had set careers. And to look at someone that's there for you every morning, every night, in bed when you wake up look right into her eyes and she just believes in me 100 it is it gives me an unmatched confidence as a man that i have a partner that just absolutely believes in me loves me respects me appreciates my work ethic and i'm getting emotional again yeah i'm a f- uh, <laughs> yeah. it's y'all segment i can't i'm gonna cry uh but she is just she's been everything to me and this is my voice is cracking as shit uh <laughs> She's been everything to me, like just a rock. And my words are, I'm losing my words, but hold on. I'm going to get it. I can't, I can't. I'm a nasty crier. So if I cry, it's going to be gross. It's going to be gross. So I just got to breathe. But to say, to say a thank you to live would be an understatement. She is, I mean, she has been there since day one. She took on, I, I mean, like an unpaid role as our assistant. She's doing so. She, anybody that got merch, she fulfilled the order. Anybody that got an email, that was her responding. She speaks to our agents. She writes notes for us. She takes notes in meetings. She has her own ideas. She willingly said, Hey, I would love to have my own thing for Patreon. All the koala members that have built a community with her. And now she's tear. I'm, oh, don't look at me. That's why I'm looking at the confetti. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, she, a, tr- a true day one. She has been here from the jump. She was there in Arkansas when we shot our first ever episode together. Oh, my God. She helped with that. I mean, she's literally just been there since the she's She was there with uh, just on the phone calls that me and Peyton shared about when I wasn't even on the pod, when he was just running ideas past me. And to say, to, again, to say a thank you to Liv is, is almost meaningless. Like, she deserves so much more. Yeah. She's done everything for us. She's She really is, like... You know, she like we're we're the podcast, and she is like the glue that is just yeah, she, she helps us in so many ways. It it can't even go. I mean, words can't even describe it. She's just amazing, and then the wife part just brings it to an even deeper level. And that's why I was getting emotional because it's like it's different if she was our assistant and and did all these things, but the worker. She's she's yeah. my lover at the end of the day, and she. <laughs> My lover, <laughs> like she, she's just there for me in every way, and it's it's amazing. She's been on my ass when I need to edit things. She's been on Peyton's ass, like it's she really is Mama Liv, and and she's just so special. So she's just so special. <laughs> uh, I, I'm telling you, my I can't, my words are. I'm a, I'll, I'll, I'll 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 pick you up. Don't yeah. worry. I'm gonna have to look at the confetti because if I look over there, I'll see her. Like as soon as my eyes go, up, it always locks in with Liv. Uh, so I'm gonna look at this nice confetti pile we oh. made. So like Cam said, yeah, Liv uh, was there for the beginning, not only for the beginning of when Cam came on, but from the idea of me dropping out of school. And she's always been so supportive. Even whenever we were just in school, she was like a second mom to me. She would take care of me when I was sick. Bro, that, she would wash my hair. That's lit. Okay. Um, so sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. That's literally where, that's where Mama Liv comes from, mm-hmm. is 
from her relationship with this man. Like, that's where the the joke of Mama Live comes from. Like, he was he was so close to me, and we were roommates, and she was doing things for him as like a second like mom away from home. Like, it, it's just it's unreal. Her her love, her heart is just so big. Yeah. Yep. All right, Mama Live. <laughs> Hey, God damn, why are you crying, dog? I can't look at you when you're crying, and then I'll I know. cry. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to turn Funny it. stuff. I can't just go into funny Please. stuff. I can't just go into funny stuff, so I'm going to say another announcement real quick. Oh, shit. I love you. Another Liz. announcement. We have more. Don't look at me. Just, I, just yeah. don't, I love you. Just don't look at me. <laughs> I know I can see her through the, like, the, the, the camera. Oh. Um, another announcement. Not the biggest announcement yet. We have another big announcement coming later in the podcast, but uh, we'll be on Twitch. Yes. Now let's go. The Twitch is live right now. It's twitch.com slash Peyton Harden. So just go <laughs> click that, follow that. Um, for those who are wondering what the Twitch is going to be like, everything. You thought I was weird here? Wait till you see me live. So uh, it's going to be cool stuff. It's going to, everybody's going to be in it. Cam, of course, Liv, Ashley, and Ryan, everybody's going to be in it. We have some great things planned for the first stream ever, which is coming in a couple weeks. Uh, whenever we get off this first leg of tour, uh, it's going to be so exciting. So many fun things coming. I, I felt a way being like, I only get to talk to them once a week. I only get to talk to them on Mondays. I want to have an avenue where we can just live talk to each other. Yeah. And, and, TikTok is a big platform. We have 3 million followers on there. I feel like everybody that's in that chat room is not really a fan. Yeah. I feel like the people that go over to twitch.com slash Peyton Harden, link in the description, they'll they'll be like, I'm here it's because like, I want to be here. It's like a Discord fam, but with live communication. It's going like, to be it's, so fantastic. You know all the amazing moments we share in Discord and all the funny things that are shared constantly. It's like that, but now it's like... Immediate responses, talking with them immediately. So one of the first things I want to do on Twitch, I've never said this to you. We're gonna play 2K against oh each other God. for five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do five thousand dollar tick uh, uh, 2K game. Bro, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't know if I'm willing. Maybe five hundred. <laughs> I don't know if I can cough up five. Going on Twitch, it reminds me of like like the summertime. Like it, just, I don't know something. Whenever I was creating the account, y'all see it. It just reminded me of summer. It's a strange thing to say, but do you remember summer? Middle of February, but do cool. you remember like summer as a kid? Summer as a kid was fantastic. I had a buzz cut, and I'd pack my <laughs> army men and my wrestlers, and I'd go to my grandma's. Wait, what? Yeah, I'd Your pack a wrestlers. Duff I'd pack a duffel bag. I'd bring my WWE ring, all my oh. action figures. I'd go to my grandma. She had a fireplace. I'd prop it up, and yeah. <laughs> No, one thing I did in the summer. Okay, I need to know if your parents did this to you in the summer. I need to know if y'all's parents did this to you in the summer. Ship did, you off. Excuse me? Mine would get rid of me. <laughs> They'd say, hey, hey, take that big-headed kid, pack that nasty blue duffel, send him to Meemaw. It's like we can't have you Shout for eight out hours Meemaw. a day. Oh, no shot. But my dad, every summer, would get me math booklets. Hell no. Y'all didn't get math booklets in the summer? Matt, I got Yu-Gi-Oh cards in Millsbury. <laughs> no, it was literally like a hundred page like paperback booklet that was like laminated, not paperback, but laminated front booklet. And oh. you would you would sit me and Preston down and you'd be like, Y'all gotta do 20 math problems today. And we do that the whole summer. Maybe maybe hot take, maybe that's why you dropped out. You you were getting extracurricular shit from like seven up. <laughs> and by the time you hit twenty, you're like, I'm Done. I can't. I can't. I don't want math problems, Mark. No, he would be like, you got I want money. I want. I want freedom. Like, <laughs> he would be like, you gotta stay sharp. School's coming around, and he would go. Gotta we, stay sharp. Oh. We would drive like 35, 40 minutes to go get these booklets from like this specific place where they had them, and we. They, they were sought after that much. There's supply and demand. They were. They were so. vintage. I remember he'd take us to the bank too. It was a shit day when we had to go get those booklets, and That's also ass, no, bro. What, you know what makes it worse. Whenever the Scholastic Book Fair came to the school, do you remember the Scholastic? I loved the book oh fair. Oh my God! Do you get those Dirk Nowitzki posters? Oh my God! I had one. Cool. Just, no, I got some blood flows just now thinking about I, it. I had a Tim Duncan for whatever reason. Never, I had a Timmy too. Never liked the Spurs. Appreciated Tim's game, but never liked the Spurs. Don't know why I bought it. I think it was just a basketball player. It was the only one there. But everybody else is getting Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh yeah. Harry Potter. Demi Lovato posters. You know what Mark said? Hey, I'll give you this twenty dollars. You better get that book. Every book fair, he would make me, he'd say, you, 
sometimes he would say you have to get you can get one poster, Bro. but you have to get one math booklet that for the summer. It would piss me off. And we me and Preston would be sitting at the dining room table, he'd be like, Whip it out. You wanna know the lamest thing ever in book fair when I think of it? I just thought of this. What? So my mom, every book year I would just get er, book year. Every book fair I'd get twenty bones. Yeah. Okay, twenty bones in a back row. <laughs> She'd say, Hey, you gotta get one book. <laughs> I'd get 20 bones, right? The books that I would get, yeah. either Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Magic Treehouse, Captain Underpants. They were all around five bucks, right? Mm. Five bucks. Posters were about five bucks. The pencils and shit, all the cool You things. got pencils at the book fair? It was a swag item. It was you like, were that kind of kid. Because if you didn't have pencils to go... You would flex your pencils? I literally had a collection of pencils, and I played sumo wrestling in YMCA one day after, after school, and I stabbed myself with my own collection. The nurse had to put scissors in my stomach to get the lead out. Please I swear tell to God. me they were at least mechanical. Uh, no, no, they're wooden. You got number two yellows? I had about 60 different patterned wooden pencils, double rubber banded in my backpack, put it around as a shell one day, bumped and went, and I went, I don't feel good. <laughs> and then I told my YMCA counselor, I said, hey, something's wrong. I started bleeding through my shirt. They took me to the nurse. She used scissors to get the lead out. Still have the lead mark to this day. That's so strange. The weirdest thing I did with like pencils and that kind of stuff at the book fair is I'd get the, like, the attached er erasers of like- I'd get those. Like Hello Kitty. It was like 25 cents a pop. Hello Kitty's a bit, it's a bit much. I would I like just get the, the little pink. diamond ones. I'd get a pink diamond, but not a pink cat. Anyway, <laughs> one year, my mom handed me the 20, routine work, yeah, right? Yeah. The same time the book fair was up, there was this little jewelry pop-up. Mm. I said, you know what? I'm going to surprise the hell out of my mama, and I'm going to get her a bracelet. You got your mom a book fair bracelet? <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't book fair. No, it wasn't book fair. It was a jewelry shop. It, was in a whole, it wasn't even in the book fair. Oh. It was like it was the thing our school did. Like a random. Bro, you were so rich. Your school is phenomenally rich. No, it was Y'all took buses to field day. Mine was in a parking lot surrounded by cones. Your field day was asshole. Exactly. Horrid. You had vendors at your field day. Yeah. I had my dad get bit <laughs> by a dog, dog cop. <laughs> a dog cop. You had you had funnel cakes and shit. Bro, we had all it was was the concession stand was open. And, and, and hey, Van Cleef came to your book fair to give Van you bracelets. Van Cleef did not come. Anyway, the, there was like, so there's the book fair. Was obviously, where was your book fair at first off? My library? If, if you would have said something like, in the back closet, I'd have been like, yeah, your school just sucked. I'm like in the science lab. Yeah, ours was in the library, right? In the opposite hallway, there was this room. for. It was like a one, it never happened again. I never had saw it again. So it was like this one year, I think it was like a fundraiser. You know how they do like cookies and stuff? Yes. I think this one was just like a jewelry one. Mm -hmm. But it was the same time as the book fair. Because when you're six, you don't make money. You don't have a payroll. So I asked my mom, I said, hey, can I get 20 bucks for the book fair? So I go to school. I go straight into the jewelry thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to this grown-ass woman. I don't know anything about life. I'm like, eh, hey, wrong. Can I? <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'll go 20. What can I get? And she's like, you can look over here. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to spend my mom's money on jewelry for my mom. <laughs> Can you help me? She's like, yes. So I'm looking, and I guess I just liked the gold one, okay? Yeah. I get her this gold bracelet. It was all 20 bones. It's 20 on the dot, no tax. Hand her the bill, I get the bracelet. Came in a little thing and everything, right? Yeah, you thought you were popping. Bro, I thought I was the shit. When I tell you, I bring this bitch home, hand it to my mom, Bro, it, it couldn't even fit my wrist. <laughs> like, I didn't even try it in the store. I literally said, Mama, <laughs> I bought you this. And I handed it to her. She's like, oh, my God, that's so... She was fantastic, Mom. Yeah, like, I know she was like, this she was is the like, best thing she's ever. She's like, you're, you're such an... You're angel sent. You're from heaven. You're the best. And she goes, put on. She's like... <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I was like, Mama? <laughs> and she's trying to put, bro, the shit didn't fit. She never wore it a day in her life. Did your parents put, $20 wasted did you, down the drain. Did your parents put up like your artwork on the fridge? My mom has a fucking a, a, a two foot thick purple octagon that's like her keepsake <laughs> shit. My teeth, hair, random. My mom has your action figure. She keeps it in her purse. Yeah, my mom has. Wait, no, 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 she doesn't. No, no, no. She does. Your mom no, 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 keeps no, no, no. your childhood action figures in the purse. No, she doesn't. She doesn't have them in her purse, but she has them. So long story I love short, you, Lisa. Goddamn. So long story short, I might be on the radar. Whatever the case, a little twisted, right? I always had three. I had at one point I had like eight, but I had three main ones. They were like yay big, like little yeah. three, three and a half inch. Uh, it was GI Joe. I loved them, but their body they weren't stiff. It was like with the little elastic bands. So. You, it's like they were stiff, but they could move and distort. It's it's weird. It's a weird toy, right? I never had that toy. So it was like this big. Three different men. I can tell you what else is that big. Stop it. So I'm talking about seven-year-old me. Stop oh. it. 
Yep, you're a creep. Here we go. So I would always have them. So anytime I had to go anywhere with my mom, yeah. grocery store, go to Meemaw's house, pick up a prescription, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. she had them in her purse to where when I was in the backseat, I said, Mom, can I have my men? And I would just call them my men. Mm -hmm. That's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> like, Mom, can I have my men? Give me my man. <laughs> so I would grab the men, and I, bro, it was, it was the best shit ever. I was acting, I was having them jump off the car, a uh, little armrest. They're like, oh. <laughs> Fighting, I took a red marker one time and yeah. drew it on his face as if he was bleeding, bro. Like it was, it was the dopest shit ever. Did you but ever I, kiss your Barbies? Never owned a Barbie. Never smooched a toy. I don't. I, I don't the, smooch I plastic. Barbie. Don't smooch plastic. Wait, what? Y'all are creeps. No. Okay. But well, order to, in the court. <laughs> yeah. To end that story, she still has those to this day in that in that keep safe. Because I had dope. them. I had them everywhere for probably five six years, bro. That's dope. So it was, it was sick. summertime as a kid has to be the best time ever, but you know summertime as an adult can be even better. Why? I think it's time for another announcement. Oh, the You Should Know podcast is going on tour summer 2024. Boo, 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 boo. And guess boo, what? Boo, boo. I'm gonna read boo. out the cities right now. No read them. Dates, dates. And venues are tentative. They will to be, be announced. They will to be announced. Not tentative because there's no dates or TBA, TBD. Yeah. Cities are for sure. Dates you'll hear when we get closer to oh, it. Okay, you ready? Tell them, Doctor P. Can I say a couple? Yeah, say a couple. Here, you pick. Let me see the list. Uh, you say left. I'll say right. Okay. We are going to. Oh. Are you ready? Here we go. This summer, the You Should Know podcast is finishing this leg of the tour. Hello. Which is going to be the same show that we've done. The same show. Spoiler alerts. The same show. So don't comment your favorite part. There we go. Because it's same happening show. again. This summer. And in a city near you. And then this is the end of this tour. There We're we go. We're not touring for a little while. All right. We're going to Houston. Hey. H-Town, baby. I need y'all to clap Houston. after every, every goddamn city. Houston. Houston. I can't wait for this one. We're going to Las Vegas. Yeah. I'm be like, 500 on black. We're going to Philadelphia. Hey, the city of brotherly love. And the bitch-ass Eagles, Cowboys. Sorry. And uh, we're going to <clears throat> Chicago. Hey. <laughs> Chirac. No, I'm saying because he, he, he screamed and it made me nervous. Well, but I'm so I, excited I, to go to Chicago. I have nothing against the Bears, but I, 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 I don't like the Eagles. I love Philadelphia. Never been, but I don't like the Eagles. I've been to Philadelphia. It's cool. We are also going... We're going to take a little old trip back to Colorado. We're Colorado! going to Denver. We're going to Denver. Denver, baby. We are also, might need a little bit of, a little bit of lotion, a little, you know, a little sunscreen. We're going to the hot, beautiful city of Phoenix. We're going to Phoenix. And. I love Phoenix. And we are also going to. Where? Dung. Dong. Washington, D.C. Washington, you're going to the Capitol. I'm going to be the president of the United States. <laughs> Woo! That is the cities we are going Leg to. Leg two, the You Should Know podcast tour this summer, summer 2024. Summer 2024. That is what, a mere three, three and a half months away? Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming quick. We're coming to you, and you will see us. You will see us. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be amazing. One more time for all the people, in case you didn't hear him, because he was very explicit with it, so you probably did, but in case you didn't, it's the same show. This is still the 2023-2024 the tour, so this is just the second leg of it. Same show. Don't spoil it for others. They, they deserve the same reactions that you got, so don't spoil it for anyone. We are coming to a city near you. All those cities, we will be. We cannot wait to see and hang out and be with y'all. <laughs> No podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Liquid IV. P, 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 P. I know we had a super, super fun weekend. We did, especially episode 100. We stayed up late. We were prepping. We had a lot of things to do. We did. It was a fantastic weekend. Yes. Staying up late, hanging out with friends, yelling at the game on the TV. Boy, did I do that. You do a lot over a good old big weekend. So when it's time to start another big week, celebrate Hydration Monday with Liquid IV. I'm going to tell you how easy and convenient Liquid IV is. 
First of all, Liquid IV has been so nice to us. They sent us so many packages. So, so nice. I have so much Liquid IV at my house, and I never wanted it to end because it is so simple. You get a water bottle. You know what I mean? You get that Liquid IV packet. You rip that packet open. You do that. Shake it up a little bit. You got Liquid IV. The taste is fantastic. It makes me feel so much better. It helps me go through the day. No, I swear to God. Would you be upset if I said I, I literally drink about two to three a day? <clears throat> One stick plus 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. Three times the electrolytes of leading sports drink and no artificial sweeteners plus zero sugar in the sugar-free version. Yeah, and it's non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy, which helps me a lot. Weekends are for going wild. Have a game plan for Monday with Liquid IV. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code YSK at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Superior Hydration today using promo code YSK at liquidiv.com. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. It's pretty funny, like, seeing you in a suit because you've never, like... I, I, I don't look I, good? I, it, it's giving job interview, both of us. Like, I'm thinking stepbrothers, like, with a job interview. <laughs> yeah. But then I thought, I was like, bro, wait... He's never had an interview. Like, you've never worked a corporate job. I, I never have. I, I want to know how it goes. Well, I feel you, like I'd be really good in a job interview. In a job interview? I feel like I'd, I'd do fantastic. Because I'm a good, like... <laughs> you think you'd be good in a job interview Fantastic. when you when you can't even like y you get stressed in a gr in a Kroger like aisle nine you're like uh, uh, you think you'd be good one on one they're asking you like personal questions yeah ask me something and I, I bet I can do good say you were the you, boss at a job actually, and I'll do it let's do it say less Mo uh, Peyton mock draft interview here we go never had a corporate job put you under the gun <laughs> oh my god watch this first question hold on you ready Thank you for your time today. Thank you for showing up. It means Hello. a lot. I'm Peyton. I, I already know that. Oh. I accepted your application. I actually screened through it. So what do you know about our company? <laughs> yeah, I knew I was, That's not fair. It's not. You have to <laughs> say what job asked. it is. That's like, why I asked that. You're like, oh, oh, oh. all right, well, you pick the job. What would you, what would you work? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's say we're at, we'll do some easy dick um, sporting goods. Would I wear a suit to that? You're not going to wear a suit to it, but dick sporting goods. No, say I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. I would never be a lawyer. I go, you failed the bar every time you took it. You could never be a lawyer. It took me three years to complete two of my basics. Keep going. Chase Bank. You're okay. A, you're a teller. Okay, I'm a teller at the Chase Bank. I'm not good with money. How's it going, Mr. Harden? Thank you for your time today. I really you, appreciate Mr. you showing Thank up. Thank you. I wasn't done talking. Uh, yeah, don't interrupt me. That's kind of how the corporate office works. Um, so I was, what, are you crying? Did, are you, what are you doing? Are you crying? You shook my hand really hard. You get, I shook your hand hard. Sorry. You should be. I want okay. the job. Uh, why do you want the job? Excuse me? Why do you want the job? I think I could do good. Is your thing too tight? You seem to be slouching. You, I don't think you're getting enough oxygen. That's not, that's so job, they ask you that in job interview? Yeah. He's being mean, right? I'm not being mean. You were choking on your own saliva, so I said I think okay, you're Okay, ask me again. Tight. Ask me a start question. We're going to start again. Okay. How's it going, Mr. Harden? Thank you for your time today. Thank you for Thank showing you for up, sir. Thank you for your time. Uh, just tell me something about you real quick. I'm Peyton. I know that. I'm 24. I also know that. I'll reword it. Tell me something that wasn't on the application. Tell me about you. Why are you scratching your face? <laughs> you think Chase Bank's funny? <laughs> no, I actually you like You think them. our institution's a joke? I played basketball in college. How's that going to help you? How is that going to help you with a teller? <laughs> that wasn't on my resume. You said not to say something that's on my resume. Maybe something that can add value to this. <laughs> I, was, I worked at Orange Theory in sales. Okay, I want you to look at this real quick. So we're in my office because I work good and I got promoted, right? Why are you whispering to me? We're in my office. You can speak like a man. Why are you shaking your head no? You don't believe in what I say? <laughs> Do you need an oxygen tank? Or a van. A van? A van. You're going to drive off? Oh my God, you want to get in the vault? Van. You're trying to get the job so you can be an inside guy? I just want a van. Van? Why are you saying... Van. van. Don't clear your spit. You've got a lot of spit with me, young man. All right, you know what? We're going to go to this... We're going to go to the second question. I always ask someone. Right. What would you do for this company 
if an armed robber came in. <laughs> okay. So, so not only did you not read our policies and guidelines on carrying personal firearms, but you, oh, you actually would know the answer. shoot it. I know the answer. It's not a, it's your answer. There's not a set. I pressed the red panic button. There you go. Where is that located at? Did Un you do your research? Under the desk. To your right or left? Right. Wrong. It's to your left. <laughs> I'll find it. You'll find it? Oh, but see, see, I, I love how you think it's funny. In that three seconds that you might be finding the button, Rebecca is gone. Can you ask me more questions, please? I will ask you more questions if you stop crying, creep. What made you want to get into banking? I need money. You need money. I'm passionate about finance. Does J.P. Morgan look like a charity? I thought you were Chase. J.P. Morgan Chase. Do you know where you're at? Do you know where you're at right now, sir? It's the same. It's interesting how someone can have such a good haircut, yet so little upstairs. I want to be in this job because I am passionate about finance. Why are you passionate about it? I like I like the the I like money, and how it works. How does it work? You lose it and you win it. So you like to gamble. You're a gambler. We don't actually appreciate gamblers in our institution. Are you trying to achieve something or just bring me down? No, well, I'm trying to see if you're if you're ready for the job because these are questions that any given customer can ask you. This is how job interviews go? And the fact that you're smiling, salivating, gasping for air, and laughing, I don't feel comfortable. I have a severe if you make, anxiety disorder. If, and that's why you're not getting the job. That's exactly why I'd say, you know what, next, <laughs> next. And, Let's try a more low-key job. You're, you're, trying trying to, like, like, you're trying to get a job at like the deli guy at a, like a Publix. Okay? I can't cook. Give me something else. No, if I ever... Yeah, hey, you can leave. If this ever ended, if the podcast ever ended, I will be under a bridge. You would be absolutely jobless. I would be... Uh, yeah, I would Unemployment be checks. Were you in a gang as a kid? <laughs> Did you have gangs? Like, your friends? You you weren't in a gang as a kid? We had a Facebook page called Bloody Diamonds. What? <laughs> that was about it. It was like me and Sanjin. <laughs> it was like me, Sanjin, and Austin. And it was about quick scoping. What is the name Bloody Diamonds come from? I don't know. We looked up Google Images, Bloody Diamonds. There's a picture. That was our banner on the Facebook page. Which there's literally, there, Oh, nothing. There's three members. Probably not. Don't search it. I don't know. No, okay, we had a gang. You like, were in a gang. No, but like, you know, as a kid, when you're riding around on your bicycles and you would meet at the, like, the little energy pumps, you'd meet at the- Oh, little, I did have outside time. You'd meet at the little energy pumps, right? The little green, the little green boxes outside the neighborhood. Do you remember those? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Did you just call those energy pumps? Were as they? if you could go up to it and, and just Whoa. get a boost. I have no idea what those are for. Electrical box. Electrical box. Same energy thing. pump. Do you, need, do you need electricity to get energy? No. Oh. No. Yeah, no. Duh. Sure don't. I don't get it. <laughs> so you met at the... Energy pumps. Yeah, we would all and ride our bikes. What gang affiliation did you do? We would all ride our bikes, and we're like, we're the ours was called the Gutter Gang. Oh, we're the Gutter Gang. Oh my God! Oh my yeah, God! Yeah, that's this just hard. GGS, bro. This, bro oh, oh, GGS, the GGS, the Gutter Gang. This is absolutely solidifying my point that you wanted to be a Disney all-star. You wanted you wanted to be on a Disney billboard. We were the gutter gang. What'd you do? Steal newspapers? Play in the gutter. You steal... Have <laughs> we went into like the big sewage gutters that were like big, like, you know how there's like a little hill and there's like the big circle, open circle, and you go through the gutters, we'd play in those. We were the gutter gang. And then we'd pop up in the light. Like, you didn't want to see us when we came out the gutter. Like, we stayed in the gutter to keep the streets clean. And then we came out, something was happening. Master Splinter, you were a rat. You were a teenage mutant ninja turtle. You didn't have a gang, like obviously, no, like blood in, blood out. We were just like we're friends. Let's give ourselves a cool name. And then in high school, no, 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 oh, oh, absolutely not. I don't give a shit about high school. You just admitted to me and Earth that you played in a gut. To think about you crawling out of a gutter. You've never played in a gutter. That's, that's why you're the dirty one. Gutters were fun as a kid. You'd ride your bicycles down there and you'd get your flashlights. It's an aluminum tube! Of gut! No, 
of shit. No, it didn't smell bad. Ours didn't smell bad. Oh, it didn't smell bad. Oh, no. It's literally where dirty rainwater, sewage, mud, and crickets go, but I, it didn't smell bad. I'm assuming it smelled like mahogany teakwood. I'm I'm assuming not. Where if the, you if okay, answer me this. If you were a plain white Hanes tea in that gutter, you walk the distance and came out, what color is it? Probably brown. Okay. Mud. What's that mud? Okay, what's mud? Dirt and water, and you smelled good? Oh, what did you do as a kid? You just stayed inside drinking a Diet Coke, half bologna sandwich, and played Millsbury all day, you listened to t pays like a cyclone? I did that when I was at my grandma's. When I was at my mother's house, I played football, and I was tackling other young athletes. Yeah, I did that too, after we you got in the gutter. You were in the gutter with Razor scooters. And it was so and fun. And tails. Because there was a guy that was called the Airsoft Shooter in our neighborhood. And he was in a Ford F-150, it was all white. And I remember, it was like this, it was like this urban legend about him. And he would drive by Airsoft like kids on the street. And like, I think he was a high schooler. Oh my God. And, and I remember we were like all like so paranoid about him. And one day, the gutter boys, we came, the gutter gang, we would come out of the gutter, right? We peeked up out of the gutter and we saw the airsoft shooter and his F-150 and, and, uh, and, and Tucker, it was his name, Tucker goes, it's the airsoft shooter. And I was like, no, it's not. And then all you see is the window roll down and him go like this. And we took off running through the whole neighborhood. It was so fun. Sort of God. What bitches you ran for, bro, from an airsoft? Bro, I at least had an airsoft on me. That's how I know we're different. I literally had a desert, a desert camo pistol. Spring action, so it wasn't that strong. But it was spring action, 12 bullets, oh my god, my watch. 12 bullets locked and loaded on me. Just playing football. We actually sh uh, uh, we shot up a garage one time because they were complaining about our football. Y'all were gangsta, dog. Yeah, like you that. fucking drove away and went, It's the shooter! It's the airsoft shooter! Run, Tucker! Go back to our gutter! Oh, I almost... Mm. Uh, if, okay. Oh my god, if you and your if you and your gang would have crossed through villages... Oh. We ran through the neighborhood, that's it, and I would run home. One of the most traumatic moments of me on a bike... I carried my entire 2000 Yu-Gi-Oh card collection in a lunchbox, a big lunchbox Were at you one point. selling? No, 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 I was just going to another friend's house to trade, show trunks, you know, is, is terminology. I was on a bicycle, he hit a bump, whole thing popped open, 2000 cards on the street. How long did it take me to get all of them? I would assume a long time. I literally hopped off and went, do you ever wipe your ass a little longer than you need to? 100%. Oh my God. 100%. Not for pleasure though. You oh. sounded like for pleasure. Well, just like you feel like, like you see, you look at the toilet paper. I don't still don't do that. Oh, yeah. I only look on the last one. No, I'm saying you go to the last one, it's empty, right? And you're like. I'm done. Flush. I have a little itch. And you just keep going. <laughs> Thank you, Liv. What was that hand? You just said that. You pinch in. You go like you. I know I'm clean. What is But this? it itches a little bit back there. What? And I want to keep going. Hey, 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 hey. I want to keep what? going. What? What? Look at me. Is this? You don't do this? I fold mine perfect. No, I fold it too, but then I pinch in the middle. So I'm like this. You don't wipe your butt like this? You're excavating your asshole. Yeah, that's like a claw. Yeah, you gotta get in there. I should've just did that. Yeah, you gotta go like this. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, how do you... So I'm like this, like I'm like this. I'm like, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, look, the last one, I'm done. I can walk up and, and I got my bidet sprayer, my tushies. I, I'll go in there, spray it, and I'm like, I, I could use a little more work. I could use a little more fun back I there. I think that's 100% fun and pleasure. You're a creep. You're a creep. I think the world knows you have dirty ass syndrome. Okay, just because I don't look at one, two, and three, I literally go, Felt a little dry. That's the thing. Yeah, right. You gotta invest in stronger toilet paper. The fact that you can feel it, that's not like, and you don't wash your hands. Cam, you wash your hands? After some pisses, Kim, if it's just a number hands? one, I can unzip and drop. You spilled so much liquid, so much. Oh, there's literally, th you just spilled three different beverages. Three. You, wa you wash your hands after every time you leave the bathroom. After every time, no. When I shit, absolutely. I can count- I don't wash my hands after I poop! I can count the number of times I've seen you wash your hands. And I've known you for eight years, six years, whatever it's been. Doc, when I shit, I wash my hands with soap. You lie. Are you nuts? You lie in front Are of people. Are you nuts? Look at, look at that shirt. Ask yourself that out loud. 
Okay, Cam, are you nuts? Dead ass. If God was in front of you, Jesus Christ was in front of you, he's like, do you wash your hands after every time you shit? Why did what you do you say? <laughs> after every time I shit, the answer is yes. He's lying. He's in a liar. In front of the Lord Almighty, when I poop. I've been in the back. He's a liar. I've seen you. 100% of the time you wash your hands. When I poop. Cam, you're a liar. If I'm pee Okay, the only reason you're saying that is because I sit to pee in the comfort of my own home. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> That's strange. I sit to let it dangle. Do you, yeah, let it, do you have to pick it up out of the water ever? <laughs> Thanks, Liv. Hey, don't do that. You're like, oh, not again. <laughs> oh, you know what else you do? PPD. You know what else you do that pisses me off? What? Please tell the people how do you eat a chip? Hey, grab right here. What do you got? Penis. Why do you grab it like? Can, do I? It's <laughs> like this thing moving a little. Why do you grab chips like like a damn crane machine? What do you want me to grab a chip like you creep? Does anybody have chips in here? Oh, okay. I did. Who ate my beef jerky? <laughs> Who opened my jerk? First off, that wasn't yours, and you spilled half the bag. All right. Say we have this, right? Say we have this beef jerky. Okay. See, how I'm going in. You grab what you can get. You do it. No. You grab one at a time? Hey, I didn't know you I'm grew so up by Princess Diana. Hey, I'm sorry I have etiquette and you're not the- I'm not the fucking claw machine from Toy Story. Why are you going like this? No, deadass, when you have a, like a thing of like Pringles, right? No, not even Pringles. You have a thing of goldfish. Yeah. Gold so when you have a bag of goldfish, No right? hands. Little- what? I know hand goldfish. I never use hands on goldfish. Huh? Cause there's a little spout. I just like squeeze it and I just pour it straight in the gullet. I don't even use hands on goldfish. That's how loser you are. Such a small chip. Something that could just be tossed in the mouth and you're going grabbing hands like you're so a So you're crane. going like this to goldfish. You're doing that. When I have goldfish, you open the bag only on one side and you can what? literally go without getting it dirty. Why Will would you drink goldfish? Bro, you're actively choosing to dirty all five fingertips. That's the best part. What if I immediately have to save my dog? What if I immediately have to answer Get a phone call? You have fingers on the dog. Who cares? The dog lick, will lick your fingers and you're nasty ass. You, you, I've you, seen you do this. You've, you've, you've had Cheeto fingers and you've let your dog lick them and then you lick them after. That's that the kind of man you are. You nasty true. ass. That's that the is, same kind of person that, that drinks not goldfish. True. That is not true. If you, hey. To anybody First off, the fact that you use your fingers on Cheetos is disgusting. I thought we were talking about goldfish. Che you said Cheetos. You said Cheeto yeah. dust. Cheeto dust should have been left in the fifth Cheeto grade. Cheeto dust goes for everything that has dust. Cheeto dust should have been left in the fifth grade. I've, I haven't touched a Cheeto in seven years. Huh? I don't touch Cheetos. Why, Why would I get dust, willingly get dust on my fingers when you can open? The dust Why is, is the, the best part because look, listen. You're a freak. You like going. Dude, I'll, fuck, I'll put a knuckle in my throat. Are you nuts? You need so much help. You need so much help. If there's anybody that's watching this right now and you drink Cheetos, hey, buddy, go like this. I guarantee you more people side with me. Guarantee. Put if you bet. drink Cheetos, Put you belong bet. under the prison. Put under federal bet. penitentiary. What do you gain from that? You don't have orange dusty phalanges. Hey, listen. I can eat the Cheetos, same Cheetos as you, immediately grab my Xbox controller. Immediately edit. Matter of fact, you edit with disgusting fingers because your screen is abysmal. Your screen's abysmal. You've never heard of a wipe. You, you don't know what Windex is. Hey, listen, Olive Garden dress boy. <laughs> You're wearing the exact same thing as me. If you don't go like this and grab like this, you never let him touch the palm. That's criminal. If you grab Cheetos and let him touch the palm, you belong under the jail. You grab as much as until the knuckle. Like this, you, you're a claw machine. You're a claw machine trying to get a puppet. What does that gain? And then, and then the fact that you because grab- it's dessert! It's dessert after you eat. You take the Cheetos. I have enough substances in my, in my body. My stomach is full. So many S's. But my tongue wants a little more flavor. So I have the, oh my God, I got 30 minutes of Cheetos on me. I'll give you $5,000 if you suck what I just did. The worst part is this, if you were serious, I would do it. I would do it. I would suck your finger for $5,000. On camera. I'll do it right now. Be a low point for me, but I would do it. I'll sell you right now.
And you'd, ha- you'd have to zone me first. There's no way through. <laughs> I don't want you to suck on my fingers. Exactly. I don't want to feel your tongue. Bro, that'd be bad. The <laughs> fact that you just your cheeks collapse. Like, you gave me an actual tutorial. and not j- Instead of just faking it. Oh, yeah. You're a fucking... You're a creep. You can literally... I go like this. You do it. Your whole cheek collapsed. I was showing you oh, how I suck my fingers. Oh, that looked crazy. <laughs> that looked crazy. Oh, speaking of chips. No, hell Shut no. Shut up. Speaking of chips. I've got a hand of beef jerky. <laughs> speaking of chips. You want beef. I think the best chip ever created was a Frito. There's no way. I know. I'm going to say this blanket statement. I know. There's no actual way that you believe that. I 100% believe it. It's the most diverse chip we've ever had. The most diverse chip is a Frito. Fritos are the a best. A Frito chips ever. is like someone at a salt mine. Okay, <laughs> someone at a salt mine one day dropped their sandwich, and their bread hit it. Yeah, there is absolute <laughs> catastrophe happening outside. A Frito, someone's at a salt mine. Well, I don't know what a salt mine is. It's where they get salt. Where <laughs> they mine for salt. You know, salt mine, dumbass. They're at a salt mine on their lunch break. They drop their bread. Yeah. Hit said salt. They go. Pick it up. A Frito? Frito's not the saltiest thing you can taste. You don't put your tongue in the cu- in the cup? Oh my god, put your tongue in a cup of a Frito, make you want to slap your grandma. You get the Frito dippers. Every Frito is curved. <laughs> you sounded so upset. No, they're not. First off. No, Every they're Frito not. has a cup. No, it is not. It's a skinny cup, but it's a cup. Are it's you like stupid? this. It's like there's the some Frito's, my there's some Fritos that are straight as a board. Are you nuts? You, you know, welfare ass Fritos. <laughs> Bro, Fritos are the saltiest chip ever. No. Let me tell you why Fritos is the best chip ever. It's the most diverse chip we've ever had. What the hell do you use Fritos for? One. You Frito got, chili pie and chili itself. Watch this. Watch this. You got a Frito by itself. Fantastic. No one does that. I do. Bro, that... So Sorry, I didn't grow up rich. I had to eat the last chip that was available in the chip box. I ate them too. Regretted it, but I ate them. Or I put them on a exactly. sandwich. So you can have them by themselves, yes or no? Of course you can have it by itself. Exactly. And then, oh my God, then you go to a concession stand. You get Frito chili pie. That's fire. That's fire. You I'm right there with you. fork with that, John. I'm right and there then, with you. And then you can get a regular bag of Fritos. Barbecued. <sighs> Barbecue Fritos. Those are gas. Gas. Those are gas. I'm but that's not your mind. Frito. And then, that's not Frito. And then, <laughs> guess it is. That's that's a, that is an extension of Frito. What's the name on the goddamn bag? Frito. All right. So shut your barbecue mouth. Frito. Honey roast. Shut your First mouth. Off, Olive Garden. It's honey. It's honey barbecue Frito twists. No, they have a regular cup ones. It's chili cheese. Yeah, the chili cheese oh, ones the chili are the regular ones. Yeah, chili the, cheese. So they got Again, chili. Chili. They got the chili cheese. Okay. And they got the twists. Oh my God, that's what puts your tongue in a spiral. Make you f- oh, it'll, oh make you feel, it'll make you wake up in the morning with a regret. There's nothing I can buy out of a gas station that makes me feel more alive. And than then, that. guess what? You get a regular Frito. Say you just made chicken and rice. Say you made chicken and rice with a little bit of vegetables, a little bit of broccoli. You, get, you open a fresh Frito bag, and you dump them in there, and you mix them up. <laughs> See, that's broke people's shit? <laughs> Dog, you ate chicken and rice, and you put Fritos on it? Gave it more salt. Exactly, it's the saltiest thing alive. It's not the most versatile. Hey, sorry we don't all get gluten-free, sugar-free, fat-free ass chips, loser ass boy. Okay, let's do a quick poll. Okay. Are you open for that? I'm open for polls. Okay, you can only eat one for the rest of your life. Cool Ranch Doritos or Fritos? Fritos. Because guess what I can do with a Cool Ranch Dorito? Eat a Cool Ranch Dorito. Guess what I can do with Fritos? Do whatever the hell I want with them. Chicken and rice with broccoli? Add me a Frito. Twist? Add me a Frito. Chili cheese, add me a Frito. Sour cream and onion, Lay's or Pringles or Fritos. It, who eats sour cream and onion chips? Who eats that? Hey, that's interesting. One, two, three hands. Hey, there's three people in here, and three hands went up. Interesting. One, two, three. Your breath smells like gingivitis. You're all nasty. No one eats that. You are eating a potato. Hey, I'm gonna tell you with my own personal debit card. I've bought. Hundreds of the 32 pack of chips variety pack not once ne'er once have I eaten one of the sour cream ones You know why because I don't like to gag when I breathe. I hate that that is disgusting behavior Do you know imagine this was family feud if that was your answer it'd literally go Bing with a one on it. 
You'd be the only person to choose Fritos over. You were literally the only person on earth to choose Fritos. And you over know what happens if you're on Family Feud and you said sour cream? Uh, 36. Eggs, it's not even on the 36. board. 36. It's not even on the board. 36. It's, it's not the, even on the board. It's the second That's why your breath smells like ass. Oh, oh. Do we need to talk about ass smelling breath? My my breath smells bad. Do we need to go a couple days back to the gymnasium? My breath smells bad in the gym. Your breath smells bad in the gym. You cleared the bitch out with a single yawn. My breath. My breath. Let's, it's a little story time. We go to the gym. The, two insane things happened at the gym. I'm calling P. Bring, bring, bring. Me and Ryan, we're ready to go. We hit to the gym. P finally answers. He stayed up late, working hard, like we said earlier. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. All right, bet. So we warm up. We get loose, right? P shows up. Hair disaster. <laughs> Knees ashy as can be. Clothes so small. Anyway, so we, he pulls up to the gym, right? For, we're hitting good old chesticles. We're on a flat bench. You remember? Is your, your memory starting to get jogged a little bit? I know you don't jog often, but this should, this should be an easy one. I need to. So we sit down. Getting loose with the band. Warm up sets, right? We put your working weight on. Wasn't that much. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. You're like, we that put my warm up. We put your working weight on. And if my memory recalls, Ryan's spotting you, okay? Now, for your dearest of friends to say this, you go through your set. Ryan's right there above you, spotting you. And he asked you. Intimately as well. He said, P, I'm only going to ask you this one. Touch my shoulder. He, oh, he gave you the anti grab. He grabbed you like an anti with bad news. He grabbed you and said, P, I'm only going to ask you once. Did you brush your teeth? <laughs> to which you responded with, Oh, of course not. Okay, so that's the first problem. So now where it gets really fucking interesting let's just rewind okay let's let's think what you had prior to eight hours of mouth breathing in your sleep let's go back to the food that was digested you had raisin canes chicken for lunch okay a chipotle bowl with queso pico and cheese for dinner and two johnny walker walk dog blacks you Smell like a garbage pit. <laughs> to the point where your second closest friend couldn't fucking bear it and had to ask you if that was indeed what he was smelling. But I have the gross breath from sour cream and onion. Yeah, unbutton your pants. No, don't take them off. Your leg tattoo is so massive every time I see it. Oh! It was perfect timing, but you took your pants off and confetti in the back went whoo, like you shit rocketed a confetti cannon. Oh my god, that was funny. So not only can you never speak on my mouth again, check your own first. That wasn't even the craziest thing that happened in the gym that day. What happened? In this the gym? this second one is is not 100% my fault. What happened? Remember when we were stretching at the end? So we're stretching at the end of the gym, right? It was like an active recovery day slash chest. We hit chest, but then we were just getting good old stretches, right? So I, I, how can I say this? Through my time in college basketball, I had amazing strength and conditioning trainers, Gabe and Colton. Shout out to both of you. But I, I learned a lot of techniques, stretching the muscles, getting real loose and limber. So I, I offered to share them with Ryan and Peyton. <laughs> yeah, this is so bad. I know what you're talking I about. I offered now. to share them with Ryan and Peyton, so I'm stretching them out deeply, intensely. I love when you stretch me out. Good groin, good psoas muscles. Everything's getting worked. I finished Ryan. He goes off to the red light therapy. I'm here with Peyton. <gasps> so Ryan is a lot more mobile, a lot more limber than Peyton. Peyton's stiff as shit, okay? He's like, oh, my, my leg's not going to be able to go back that far. So I'm stretching. I'm working. I'm like, shit, you're tight, okay? Uh, what would you say to That's me? the first one. That's the what first one. I said, shit, you're tight. Okay? The guy in the back probably heard that. That was where his thoughts came in. Fast forward 10 minutes. I'm stretching his legs. It, it's a good quad stretch. He's on his chest, laying down. I'm stretching out. I'm working it, moving through its range of motion. This man walks up and goes, damn, that looks good. I thought bro was asleep. 
<laughs> to which my mind, for whatever reason, I answered, No, this is that good stuff. He's not asleep yet. He will be later, though. And this man looked at me with the most disgust. He said, and then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put him to sleep later. I doubled down. Why did I double down? And the crazy part but is- But I didn't even realize it was a pause moment until like, until he left. And crazy part is your legs were on the back of my knees when I was like this. Yeah. And he was like, nah, he'll be asleep later though. And I was like, I will be. <laughs> it was, it was bad. And the guy just looks at us, he goes, Walks like, out of the gym. All right. And me and Peyton sit there for five minutes crying, laughing about how oh. that is just a horrible thing that I could have said. Worst yeah. thing I could have said. No, it was it, it was bad. Golly. Oh, I do have a I have a crippling fear of being in the gym. Like Why? Y'all, you really y'all do my comfort blankets. Y'all I can know we, we can tell. Well, I have gummy shoulder syndrome. You do. I have to rub his shoulder out after every set. But I do have weird fears. Like what's a fear? The weirdest fear that I have is, you know how people have hole fears? Like, they're scared of, like, the hole phobia when there's a bunch of holes right there. That's live. The little holes in the little patterns. I have that. that. Like, I get that. I have one even worse. Like, whenever I see holes all patterned together, it makes me uncomfortable. But when I see a star shaped, it makes me so, like, itchy. What? Like, not a star, like, a perfect, like, round star, but like a skinny star, like Patrick Star. What are you saying? like a starfish? It makes me like cringe. What the hell does that have to do with the gym? I'm saying irrational fears. I have an irrational fear of the gym, and it led me to believe, like it led me to think about my irrational fear of stars. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> what? I literally, you go. I have fears about the gym. Like, oh, what are they? Tell me about them. All right. So you know stars, right? Like, what are you, what are you saying? I was transitioning into my fear of stars. Okay, the fear of stars is, I mean, no offense, but I don't think it's valid. If no, anyone, but I, because everyone has weird things that triggers them. I'm putting my Twitch stream uh, studio together, right? And I, I, had a, I had a desk and you know the bottom, like that, like the bottom of spinny wheel chairs. If you take that top part off and you just look at that without the wheels, that shit is terrifying. Stars. Like, it makes my, like, fingernails feel like they're falling off, and it makes my pee-pee hole go like that. I couldn't pee if I wanted to. Why? I don't know. Talk, try to talk through it. That's how people get over fears. They can talk through it. I think it's... You're already itching yourself. <laughs> Literally thinking about it, you went, I don't know. I just can't, like... I think it, I think it comes from the ocean. Because you can't swim. I can't swim. And you know what's down there? Starfish. You know what I'm scared of? <laughs> Starfish. It all like it all goes worst. together. You are the worst. Yeah, no, it, it is bad. Oh my god. I think we have a another surprise though. Oh, do we? Will you bring me that one, Ashlyn, or him? Or just bring her out here. We have another thing that gives me fear that is shaped oddly. Okay. <laughs> this. She's all right. We have the one. And the only, only Ruby. Ruby. This is your daughter. I don't know why I'm looking Look at her. Mama Wooby. She's so, looking at y'all too. She's ooh, so she stinks. No, she's not, oh oh my god, that's why you love her so much. Because she, she smells, often smells like Fritos. Yeah, here. Come here, Nazar. Your daughter. <laughs> Ruby Okay, has her on. mom dressed her today. She put on her one year old jacket. Ruby's now four with her grown woman weight. So y'all have heard hundreds on hundreds of stories about this little dog right oh, here. Oh, Nazer Queen. This is Ruby. The one, the only. Can I tell you? Actually, let me see her. I need to tell a story while I'm holding her. Go back to your unks. Let's tell the first stories we have of this little beast, right? Oh, Ruby. She love. Okay. First off, before he tells the story, she is in love with Peyton. I love this like, little girl. Her top three humans outside of me and Liv, her mom and dad. Not in any order, but her top three is Peyton, Ryan, and Hannah. That's her top three loved humans. Like, she's obsessed with them. Auntie Ashlyn's, Auntie Ashlyn's up there, but... You smell like Ashlyn She did. Bit. She loves Ashlyn, but it's something about Hannah, because she saw Hannah every day in Arkansas, like, every single day, and she was obsessed with Hannah. So, let me tell you about this little rat. She's so cute. I love her to death. Oh, look at you. You can yawn in front of people. You're um, a naser queen. The first time I met her, I hated her. I absolutely hated this thing that I'm holding. <laughs> you did. She shit on my pillow. She did. 
And through the years, we've become closest of friends because we're both anxious and weird. Look at her kneecaps! Oh, she wants to go to you. Come here, mama. Here you go. She loves me. Because y'all look alike. Wait, put y'all's heads by each other and we can finally debunk. Do Cam and Ruby look alike? They're going to go up to the camera. Audio listeners, you're missing a lot on this podcast. <laughs> put your head lower, Cam. <laughs> Ruby's fat. That's how she is. Uh, there you go. We got Cam and Ruby. Now in the comments right now, y'all can put if y'all look alike. Uh, that's not the only people I want to get on the podcast right now, though. Should we get some women on here? I think we should get some women on here. I think it's time for Mama Liv and Auntie Ashton to make an appearance on the Hello. podcast. Hello! The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Hims. Real talk. 52% of men over 40 experience some form of ED. That's called erectile dysfunction between the ages of 40 and 70. But it's always been like this weird taboo topic to talk about. Not here. Thankfully, Hims is changing that by providing affordable access to ED treatment all online. You're confident in the office, at the dinner table, and even on the dance floor, but you can keep it going when you're back in the bedroom? Hello. With him, you can get access to medications to ensure your erectile dysfunction gets treated. So you can keep the confidence going all day, hey, and all night. Want to have better sex? Yes. But erectile dysfunction is getting in the way? If so, you're not alone. Millions of men deal with the hardships of ED. But with HIMSS, oh. there's a simpler, affordable way to get treated for ED. So you can get your groove back in the bedroom Hello. at a cost that you desire. Hims is changing men's health care by providing access to affordable and discreet sexual health treatments, all from the comfort of your couch. Hims provides access to clinically proven generic alternatives to Viagra and Cialis, up to 95% cheaper with options as low as $2. Padose. The process is so simple and 100% online. No uncomfortable, weird doctor's visits. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash YSK. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash YSK for your personalized ED treatment options. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Now, oh! So the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. We got Mama Living on the Ashton on the podcast. <laughs> episode 100. Woo! We had to do it. It was only right. It was only right. How are y'all feeling about episode 100? It's good. fantastic. Great. I love it's, it. It's amazing it's milestone. It was a lot more tears than I thought it would be. Yeah, I, I was hoping works. I didn't expect any, but yeah. Here we go. Go ahead and get you son. Get you, get you get some, a little Ashlyn. celebratory. When we drink Ashlyn, Ashlyn's with the game. When we get drinking Ashlyn, she gets it down in. Oh, uh, you really want me to finish? Hell no. Fi don't finish. No, I don't I want, want some. some. <laughs> she said, wait, you really want to finish it? Oh, I got a whole glass. You got a whole glass. Liv, do you want any more? Here you go. Dude, my throat. I shouldn't have put up. my lips on it, but. Uh, here. Eh. Oh, I thought you said you want some lips. I mean, no. Is it here? But I woke up this morning with my mouth, like, super scratchy, <laughs> so I'm kind of like, sorry if I sound raspy. Oh, raspy fact, the fact my wife had, like lips just on go she's like oh i thought you said you wanted some lips here you go lippies you know lip gloss you silly. lippies yeah let me get let me get that bottle and then uh we'll get into the top not that <laughs> the bottle of the champagne Dude, that's a, I, uh, you don't like it I'm i love not, it i'm just not a drinker it's just not me <laughs> i'm playing it takes me back to the good old college days. Do you remember college days? Man. <laughs> I do. do remember when Ashley used to sleep in the dog bed. Oh, there yeah. was a one time Matter thing. of fact, since they're both here, long story short, Ashlyn got so twisted one night, she fell asleep in <laughs> Ruby's dog bed. She did. Good old Ruby that's over there. I woke up to, like, just absolute terror breaking outside of the room, outside <laughs> of the door. I remember going to the bathroom because I had to pee. I opened the door and I was like, there's a corpse on the ground. Yeah, there's literally I a body in a dog like bed. This. Oh, good times. That's, good a, times. Low, that's a low moment. I'm not no, it was fun. It, it, it was. But you know the most... <laughs> it was deserving. You know what I what I enjoy? Y'all are y'all are very two important women in my life. Thank you. Yeah. And you know, I've, I've brought Thanks. I brought dates around y'all. Yeah. 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 And we've liked the majority of them. I have, a good, I have good pickings. Well, majority? Yeah, majority? Ashley surprised Half? somebody to you. You said what? What'd, huh? yeah, what? What'd you just say? <laughs> <laughs> she heard me. No, Ash it'll work. Ashlyn, uh, surprise. Sheets. What? Oh, oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, I don't yeah. know if we can tell that story. <laughs> okay, we sorry. can't. There was a, I I'll tell so. a brief synopsis. Ashlyn over here, I was talking to a girl First very of all, briefly. 
he told me to put him on, so I did. Yeah, there was a girl. I that did. Oh, I'm not talking about that. No, the girl that he that I'm she flew. About the girl yep. that's, that. Yep, that one. That's the one. She put yeah. me on. He asked. No, he had not. been no. asking wait, me. Wait, to wait, wait. You said on. sheets. I'm she. not talking about no. no, not sheets. She oh, no, not sheets. Okay. She. she. Sorry, I was like, Wait, yeah. no, I sheets. Said she. Sheets is when we went over to the school. Okay, she's thinking of sheets. You're thinking of just laundry. she. Laundry. Oak Wet laundry. Oak moldy. Wet oh, laundry, Cam. Wet laundry, yeah. That's what sheets is. Not sheets. We're not talking about sheets. I'm talking, talking about plane. Sh plane. plane. She flew. The flight. You coordinated it. You little fucking Surprise American me. Airlines worker. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, Yeah, so there's. Oh this, my God. Yeah, oh my God, right. I was about to say, Ashton did not put you There on. was a girl I was f briefly talking to for a while, years ago. And uh, mm. one day I got a knock on the door, and that girl was there. I said, How'd you get here? I was talking to Ashlyn. I said, I don't want you in my home. I didn't say that. I had to suffer through oh, that weekend. Because she think was texting us. Bro, hey, we really did him dirty. Okay, honest to God, we didn't know until it was already confirmed. Yeah. But, but we really did way. you dirty by not telling you. <laughs> Because this man's apartment, when it's not clean, she Ooh. walks in, she goes, what the no, fuck? I told, I told him to clean it. I gave him a warning. I said, hey, take a shower. I FaceTimed him. I was like, take a shower, um, clean up a little bit. He's like, why? Okay, Are you coming? You, yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought like y'all were coming. Without, like, without any context, do you think P's really going to just spring up, I shower, his, and clean? His hair, you know how his hair gets. It was oh, like, oh, I know. Nappy. So I told him, I said, take a shower. He did take a shower because he FaceTimed me after. He's like, "What? What is going on?" Because he was sweating. He did. He because he called us too, and at the time, me and Cameron were like, "What? I don't know." Like he thought we, we didn't were, know. Like, we didn't know till the. We literally didn't know till the night before. I thought it was okay, so that's why I. That was said, wild. I said said information. He literally said, "Hey, what are you doing here?" Because I had fingernails on my floor. Then she broke your heart. She did. Oh, she, man. She, yes, she did. End of that She's era. not deeply dating an NFL player. No, that's, they're not. They're, they broke up. Yeah, I peeped it. It's like it's like good for her. I love you. But so she puts me in a healing girl era, and then it's good whenever yeah, she's in a healing sure. girl era. Hey, you needed to grow. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but since I needed to grow, <laughs> damn. Not like this, but like. Oh, let's get into it. Personality. No way. Your, pers Your no, personality no, I mean, suck. Like, emotionally, like you needed to grow. Damn, Pete. So I need to get my heart broken to emotionally we mature? All do. We all do. I had just coming off she a heartbreak. Texted, that girl said, hey, go break Payne's heart real quick. <gasps> what if you found out? Oh, my bro, God. What if you found out? <laughs> hey, what? No, but no Wait, bullshit. What's called Among Us? No bullshit. But what I if you found out? What if you found out that she said, hey, I'm going to fly you out. I, I got the ticket. I need you to shatter his heart. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. <gasps> Me? What? I wouldn't be surprised. So you don't value. What? What? You said I needed to get my heart broken. We all needed to get our heart broken. I had my heart broken, that's why I went to her. That is true, that is true, Ooh, that is true, Ashlyn. Shit. Look, okay, I just, look. Ruby, I sit down somewhere. She, she wanted you to go number. through a double heartbreak. No, I don't even know how she got my phone number. That's what's crazy to From me. From your other friend. They don't have each other's phone numbers. They didn't have numbers. a mutual. That's, that's long time ago, like long, long, long Bro, time. Bro, there's no way like they had elementary a school. There's no way. You're, they went to Bro. high school together. Then no, we are not no, talking about the not same people. High school. We're talking about correct. Yes, not That's high what we're school. talking about. They she didn't did go not to high school no together. Together, they Elementary. know each other. Elementary, elementary, elementary. Wait, she's from Texas. She no. used to be. Oh, yeah. I did not know that. She's from San Antonio. Her. That's how it all started. Okay, oh, okay. wow. We got. We got to stop. Wow, okay, I did not know yeah, that. Cut that all right, out. All right. Okay, but I say all that to say we all have different opinions on things and how certain things should go. Correct. Yes. God damn, Asha. Yeah, that shit's gone. Both bottles are empty. Fantastic episode 100. We all have different opinions on how things should go. Continue right now. Ready, set, go. So, I have a question. Because I was thinking about doing this not too long ago, right? Say your friend has a birthday dinner, right? Uh-huh. Okay. But it's intimate friends. It's the friend group. We're family, right? We're all together. We, we know each other well. It's going to be great. Like, everybody has a great energy with each other. I, on the other hand, am in the dating pool. Yeah. There's a girl that I really liked. I thought I liked. You know, I wanted to get to know her. Okay. It just so happened that my first date with her happened to be the same day as a friend's birthday dinner. Is it weird to bring a first date on your friend's birthday dinner with nothing but the close friend group around? Is that wrong to do? I don't think so. I th there's two different takes on it. I feel like mm. it could be wrong because it's like you're going to automatically introduce her to your, the people you trust the most. Is that she doing automatically gets that privilege versus 
let me see how she interacts with him to really judge her character and all that. But how would you know if you don't introduce her to the friends? I don't think anything are goes. Gonna, are you going to go somewhere do like a game But night. are you going to go to a full course an fucking intimate, dinner? An intimate dinner? dinner. At like, a, like a steakhouse? Are you going to introduce every first date? At every friend's birthday? No, party? it's it's all about coincidence. It was, so it was gonna, a timing thing. It's going to be like, I meet you on Hinge. Like, hey, yeah, come to my friend's birthday dinner. We're going to Perry's. No. So? But what's wrong with it? Well, I would, as the girl, <laughs> I would have the thought, oh, he really likes me. He's taking me to Perry's. He's taking me to go meet his no, friends. No, 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 but that, okay, but that's the thing. That's the thing. He's, he's not, okay. Okay, this, this, is, <laughs> this is where you get to explain it. Are you saying, hey, our first date, we're going to go with my friends? Or are you saying, hey... It's it's crazy timing, but my my friend is having a birthday dinner. If you want to pop out tonight, like if you're making it okay, the, it's the latter. The first there you go. Then the there's first, something wrong with it. The first day I met her, we had scheduled this this us meeting, one on one date, me and this girl. Yeah. We had scheduled this. It just so happened that one of my closest friends has a close friend's birthday dinner the same night. Yeah, I I if I, I was the girl, wrong with it. no, if I was the girl, I would be under the impression that you really are interested in me cuz you want me to go with this but what to if you. I'm not? But it's really because it's you just, just if you didn't want me there and didn't care about me meeting your people, you wouldn't yeah, have invited you have me. me. But That's it's just it's thought. just saving face. That's all it is. What do you it's mean? like saving it's being nice. It's being nice. But why be nice? Just you don't know at me. this point. You don't know so you me. think it's wrong? So you'd to rather do it. reschedule? Yes. You'd rather reschedule on a first date when you've talked about this when it's already confirmed. Yes. If you okay. don't like if the girl like that, if someone reschedule with you, you would be okay. upset. Not, okay. not, if no, 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 you don't no, no, like, listen, but listen, that's listen. not even a date. That's listen. not even a date. That but is listen. a gathering. We're gonna but gather you, right. together. No, we went he to already went to the one on one. I asked you that. I no, said if y'all just prior. No, listen. Listen. Cheesecake factory before. Stop. Listen. Here we go. You just how you said. If he brings me to this, I'm gonna feel like he really likes me. He really wants me to I see. I didn't talk like that, but yes. You basically did. That's how I always assume Ashton talking. But anyway, <laughs> if you said he brings me to this, he really likes me, wants me to meet his people immediately. Yes. In the same regard, with that, like, not necessarily attitude, but with that thought, I was, I was really enjoying that. But you're flinging champagne everywhere. I'm not inviting any man on but a first. But listen, if that same man instead said, hey, I completely forgot my boy's birthday is tonight. We can't go out at all. I'm gonna catch you later. What would you, you would feel? be upset. I would be disappointed. Exactly. No, wait, let so me he's finish. saving let me face finish. saying we can no, do both. No, no, because at that point, you don't know me like that, so you don't necessarily owe me anything. You owe me the common courtesy to be like, hey, I'm sorry, I double booked myself. What if it's the same this day cancel? Okay, wait, at what? least you're being upfront about it. It's different to just get no, out let of me, here. No, let me, no, if it was the same day cancel, you, you would be, never talk no, to him no, again. No, no, you would never talk to him again. You would never talk to him. No, I would honestly appreciate it because I'm like, you're right. Like, no, 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 no. He's no. thinking about me and my feelings. He doesn't it's want to bring me around yes. his friends and make no, me feel it's different. awkward. Your it's forearm's different. on me. So, well, listen, then. <laughs> it's different. If the man if the man texts you same day, you guys had plans the night before you talked, everything was set in stone. He texts you and he's like, hey, I totally forgot. One of my good friends is having his birthday dinner tonight. Like, I got to be there. I'm so or, sorry. Bro, or, hell no. Or, no. or you asked, sorry. would you would you feel comfortable, comfortable coming. coming to the dinner? Don't just be like, That's hey, what he said. No, no, he didn't. He did not say that. What he I said, said, he, he said, didn't give you the option. He you said, didn't hey, we're going to do this. Oh, so you're forced. So if he <laughs> said, hey, we're going to go jump off a bridge together. We're going. You're forced no, to do it. I'm saying you're you need to give here you need to here. give her the option. You always have an option so she, so she can feel comfortable. Because like, if you if you're just saying, "Hey, we got a birthday dinner to go to tonight. That's where our first date is." I'm gonna be. I'm no gonna. But they, I'm the one who did this. No this one. What I did. This is what I did. Yeah. Say it. This is what I did. Listen. Say it. I had the date planned with her. We were talking. Whatever. Step one. My friend has a super busy schedule, so they planned their birthday dinner with only intimate friends. Last minute, whenever right. my date was already planned Kay. with a girl that I thought we had good chemistry with. Right. So this date with her was already planned. My friend, days before the scheduled dinner, says, hey, I want to do a dinner that same night. I can't bail on my long-term friend, but I'm not going to bail on this date either because I've been working on but this because she will girl, leave me. You don't know the, the girl anything, so why do you care if she leaves you if you just met her? It's because courtesy. Because it's, it's courtesy. What do you want me to do? Then don't okay. go to the dinner. No. Don't in, go to the birthday dinner. Take the girl out. And a so you'd rather me go to a birthday dinner for a girl I've never met than go to my go best to friend? Say, say it was your dinner. Say it was your dinner. You'd rather, you'd rather, me go with you'd rather him go on a first date. No, I would date. rather you come to my dinner and then take the girl but out a different day. Time out. Isn't that strange? Okay, but the, but the girl would have been like, oh, you bailing on me last minute. Man, oh, that's something for 
for you to figure the fuck out. Right. <laughs> and, okay. And he did, bottom but y'all are saying no, it's wrong. I think of, you did the as, best you could. As women. Yeah, as women. Yeah, as champagne. as women. I think you could have done the best you did. As women. Bottom line, this is it. If, oh, that did not you, sit on you. If we've been texting and you're like, Hey, oh we're gonna go to dinner God. this night. It's set. It's in my calendar. It's booked. So I'm under the impression that that's what we're doing. You just did the live thing. What? The my thing. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of a rebuttal while you're talking. But, so that it's set in stone. <laughs> Bro, look at Ruby. <laughs> Wait, bring her over here like this. Show her in the camera. She may not camera, stay. Right? Talk. You got champagne. Oh, in my you gotta eye. fix the hood. Fix the hood. Holy I don't think shit. I'm losing my train of thought because it's in here. It got it's it. here. <laughs> Put her like right in that middle camera. Everybody look at what we've been looking at Ruby for the past hour. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> she looks like a wizard. <laughs> Ruby, 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 Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> but bottom, She's bottom the best girl. line. Ryan, I mean, not Ryan. Ashlyn's not letting this shit go. Yeah, no, let me. Her, bottom line. Let her cook. Bottom Thank line. <laughs> yeah. Bottom line. <laughs> if a man and I have been texting, he's like, "We're going to dinner this night." I'm like, "Cool. It's in my calendar. It's booked. <laughs> it's set. It's stone. That's what we're doing." He texts me same day. Hey, my friend, busy schedule. Yada yada. Whatever. The whole spiel and says, "I've got this birthday dinner." Like, that's what we're going to be doing. It's not going to just be you and I. I, as the woman, would be under the impression that he felt comfortable enough to ask me to go be with his friends at an intimate dinner that I have never met. He hasn't met me like that. He doesn't know me like Actually, that. shut up. Ashley, you're lying. Women, Bro. in the comments, you would think but the Ashley, same. But Ashley, I know you! I know you. You'd have been like, Ashley. Well, you bail last minute. Oh, my If it bail. was a legit reason, I'm not baddest. me. I'm the no, legit. I am. Legit. I am. Legit or <laughs> exactly. You would have been like, all, legit. It's all about the afterwards. If he, after he canceled. If he actually follows up with what he says, no problem. Period. Okay. Bullshit. bullshit. No. Bullshit. No. Why? If you follow up. Why? If, if you follow a, bro, up. Bro, time out. 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 Take everything out. Take ev Literally, imagine we didn't hear anything. Okay, say you're talking to this guy. Right. Been talking to him for a couple days. Uh huh. I want to take you out Saturday night. Cool. You're excited. Hey, y'all been having hey, good chemistry. I just made I just made a, a reservation. Six o'clock cheesecake factory. Bet. Day of, uh -huh. he hits you at four o'clock. Okay. These are your only two options. Which would you feel better hearing? Yo, I completely forgot. My best friend's crazy busy. He makes his dinners last second. He has one tonight at nine. I'm still gonna show up to Cheesecake for you. Would you be interested in maybe going? Only if you're comfortable. So Don't speak! Or, <laughs> sir, or, yes, sir. Or, hey, forgot my boys got a dinner at nine. I'll catch you on Tuesday. No, but. Which would you rather hear? Okay, 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 okay. Just answer the question. Just answer the question. Let me speak. Let me speak. Just answer the question. Just answer the question. Answer the question. Okay, out of those two options. Then, so I can speak. No, answer my question. Those two answers. Option one or two. You said. You no, said no. no one or two. Option one or two. One or two. Then you can defend. <laughs> Just give me the answer. Option one, solely because okay. you said okay. hey. which. No, you said For which sure. would one would make you feel better. I would feel better okay. hearing that you want me at your friend's dinner because I would feel like then you no. like me X amount because you want me to meet your friends. Okay, but that's you. What is assuming do? Oh, it I makes like the ass, ass out of you, you and me. me. Well, Don't assume, that's most women. I'm take sorry. It for oh my god. That's that's. <laughs> So that's most women. Most women, I think, would be under the impression if a man that you're fresh dating on the first date, he's like, hey, um, I still want to see you still hang out. I've got this birthday dinner for my friend. It's an intimate dinner. It's at nine o'clock. He's super busy. So would you be comfortable coming with me? If he asked if I'm comfortable coming, that means he's comfortable with me being in that kind of space and environment with him. So I would think and be under the impression that he feels a certain way about me. Yeah. But okay. But my, so does it, does that like give you more hope? Does it yes. scare you off? Gives me more hope that he what? feels a way about Honestly, me. Honestly, I would just be confident and then I can't. Does that? Like, I would feel confident that he likes me X amount and that he sees potential if he's okay, wanting so me to let me meet ask all you this. Let me ask you this real quick. Let me ask you this. If the roles were reversed. Yep. Literally the exact same scenario. Uh -huh. You told this man, hey, I would love if you took me out at 5.30, 6 o'clock at Cheesecake. Day of at 2 o'clock. Uh -huh. Holy shit. My girlfriend's got a dinner. I completely forgot about it at 9. Mm -hmm. The guy, you would never talk to that man the guy immediately thinks, oh, this, she wants to wife me. Like she, oh, she thinks I'm her man. 
Does that even make sense? Or does that sound well, like you're saving face? You're trying to do, you're trying to be a good person for both people. I think girls, we will bail on guys more than y'all will bail on us. So guys will automatically assume that we're bailing on them if we say our girlfriend's got a dinner. They won't believe us in the act until they actually see us post a picture of it. Yeah. But you'd believe a guy. I Ashley. more get Ashley. out of here. <laughs> oh my God. You'd be like, he's lying through his teeth. He doesn't like me. Da -da -da. You'd, you'd send it to the group message. You'd, you'd send it to your girls. girls be like, yo, this lame ass boy ditched me for no reason. He don't know what he's missing out on. That's okay. Exact. In my I'm experience, the if I am. See, I told you. <laughs> she is. You should think that you. of yourself. Yeah, women. right. I'm just saying, but that's what you would say, no? But if yeah. I sent something in the group message, Kiss I would. Me back. I, Sorry. I would send it, and I, if he invited me to go with him to his friend's dinner, I would yeah. send it to y'all and be like, guys, look, he wants me to go to this, and y'all would hype me up thinking that he likes me. I'm right not gonna guys. lie, but I'm not gonna lie. If you send that, no, no, no. If you send that in the group message, we do. What's wrong if with you that? Send that we do. If you I'm not inviting a guy that I'm going on a first date with, I wouldn't invite him to my friend's dinner unless I was, was like, he, he's the shit. If it was the same night and you really liked the guy and your options were bail on him you or save night, face, you didn't want the night in. What would you do? You didn't want the I would invite him if I thought he was the shit. And we did but it. exactly, if we you no, if you think the girl is the shit, you would want her to meet your friends. So that proves my point even more. Get your ass out the camera. Okay, I got a no, question no. too. I got a question too because I'm going through this right Ow, now. I'm losing. I'm, the reason I'm not talking a lot, guys, is because I my throat's hurting. It's alright. It's normal. If, right. if, if <clears throat> y'all, what you just said, and got excited about. I forgot where I was going. It's all right. But I'm right. What do you know? I got a question. I'm right. I got a question. How soon is it? I'm not going to lie. I've introduced a girl to my parents in the first week I've ever met her. Absolutely not. That's crazy. In like mm. high, middle school, Absolutely high school? Not. All right. No, I'm like 24. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Absolutely not. <laughs> she said, that's fucking no, wild. No, but like, you don't even know her favorite color. Yes, I do. I asked it on FaceTime. I refer to my man now to my parents for months as I was going on dates to 12. They didn't even get to know his name. I said 12. 12. He said, like, where are you going? I said 12. Okay, but that's crazy. But no, but I'm saying if you have the initial feeling of like, I, like you go, you meet this person online or whatever, you get to the DMs, you're texting every day and then you get to the FaceTime stage and you're like, I Quit love this energy with, <laughs> <laughs> you get to the FaceTime stage and you're like, I love the energy I have with this person. I, I've never felt this way. You meet once, you go to coffee, you go to maybe, <laughs> You go to get a little taco cabana or something like that. Fuck no, Ugh. taco cabana. Dry ass tacos. That's like that's like that's like going to a date at Taco Cabana and an after party at the ER, getting your stomach pumped. <laughs> y'all got y'all got money. I'm sorry. So I go to taco. We got money. I go to taco cabana sorry. with the girl. Right. They got we, good boom. marks. Exactly. You get a good margarita. You're a little you're a little tipsy. You're having good vibes. And then that night, you have another FaceTime with her. You're having the best time of your life. And you're like, I've never felt this way about a girl in my life. Absolutely. She does not Man, even get to know what my mom said, looks like or her Everybody says name. that after, like, those little butterfly shits, yeah, it's a couple e first it's, talks it's and FaceTime. It's easy FaceTime. to defend it, but, in bro, in the moment, it does not make sense. <sighs> Here goes the married couple being like, we'll tell as you an the adult, right As an adult, well, we I'm not, it, like, even in my current relationship, about. I didn't, that didn't happen to, like, Three, four months down the line. Exactly. Like, You've Cameron, never met somebody like, and be like, I wanted to share this with my family. Bro, like, in Cameron one, met in my one family week. on a friend thing. Like, that unlike was different. Unlike different. Unlike a quick high but in one, on bro. FaceTime. Oh, hey, this is my mom. No, and they're like, hell what's no. up? It's whatever. She can't really see. It's this, just. No, bro, in one week, this. I'm in one week, I might give her one date. She's not seeing my parents. You don't, you can't talk about this. In the first then week. why'd you ask the question? In the first, was talking to him. In the first week of dating, <laughs> we went we went on one date and two or three other but nights. But your mom already knew who she was. That's exactly. true. No, so she didn't. Yes, yes, she, she did. did. Yes, she did. My mom did not know who you were. When she, I didn't took know, you she didn't know. Are you who, nuts? She didn't know who. She didn't know who Olivia, Olivia Johnson, was. Johnson, Johnson was. She didn't know who Olivia Johnson was you're until lying. I told. You're a liar, Cameron. Cam. She went to parents' shit at the school. She literally, she, she literally knew. would sit she at the knew. Everyone with stop, me. stop talking, with stop talking. Buddies, with buddies, 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 mom. Unmute the TV. Unmute the TV. Unmute the TV. Thank you. Hello. Hey, mom. Yeah. You okay? Is everything good? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay, good. So you're on the podcast, right? This is a very special episode 100. I can't wait for you to watch it, okay? I have a question. No, you're, you're called in right now. You're, you're live on the podcast, okay? Your parents know. Okay. She's okay. I have a very serious question. I need you to answer. And even if I'm wrong, I'm not going to sway it in any way. I need you to answer 100% unbiased and truthful. Okay. Okay. 
when I, in the very beginning, when I began to date Olivia, okay, when I returned to Seminole, 2018, 2019, yeah. my first date when I took her to Chili's, did you know who Olivia was? Yes. No, you didn't! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yes, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you did not. Ask her, she ask her how she knew. Ask she her how she knew. Hold on, shush. How, how did you know who Liv was? She was sending you gifts during the summer and y'all talked all the time. Yeah. Oh, so, did she just say sending you gifts? Yeah. She, she was. was. You were sending gifts. She said that weekend, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was sending you booty. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, say it again one more time. Shush, shush, shush. One more time. I said you were here during the summer and y'all were calling and talking all the time. So she I heard you through the walls. And she sent you those sandals. <laughs> okay, listen. She said she bought me the Burks. <laughs> yes. But I'd never met her up until that point. Thank you. She no, knew that's she not what she was. She, 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 that wasn't the question. Bro, she knew she, who she, she was. She did not know anything about her. I said I'm talking to this girl. Dude, Cameron, she knew about face, her. I even FaceTimed your dad when he okay, would get home late you know, from UPS. No, no he'd let's, be like, okay, hey, okay. It's Liv. And we would that's what Ashley said a quick high and bye. But listen, okay. And you said no. Listen, we listen. We're in a whole different state. Listen, that's different. Listen, that's the only way to listen, meet. Listen, Olivia, can it? Here we go. Whatever. Lisa, one last question. I'll let you get back to your to your beautiful Hi, Lisa. Here we go. Okay. Did you meet? Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm gonna give you a better question. Do you think it is weird or not weird for the first one week of talking to someone, dating them, to meet to for them to, for you to show them to your parents? Like a picture. For you to show them to your parents. Like let them meet your parents. Like you've been talking to this girl for a week. You might have gone on one date, and you bring them to the house to show them to the parents. Is that weird or no? It's kind of early. I'll, okay. It would be early. So if you had to say the word weird or not weird, what would your answer be? There's no there's no gray area. Black or white. Weird or not weird? Okay, yes. I would say it's weird. For one week. Hey, appreciate you, mom. <laughs> hey, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. You keep it easy, all right? What? You keep it easy, all right? I'm going to talk what? to you later. All right. All right, I'm going to catch you on a rebound. Bye, Lisa. Bye, love Lisa. you. Bye. Ashlyn, Liv, Ryan, and Peyton all said bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. Not her calling you got, her you, sandals. She you, said, yeah, she was sending you sandals and shit. You got, Not you got one She was sending you sandals and booty pics. I remember that, girl. Uh, hey, now I'm calling Mama Harden. It was the booty pics, though. Call, your don't let, don't let me call Lolly. What? <laughs> what you say? Preston, we're recording right now. <laughs> Preston, we hand the phone to mom real quick. We got a question that we had need to ask her on air. Hello? Hey, mom, you're on episode 100 of the You Should Know podcast. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Hey, Mama Harden. Hi. Uh, Ashlyn hey, and Liv is here. Everybody's here. And Ryan. Hi, Mama. And Ryan's here. Everybody's here. Okay. <laughs> she, uh, she heard Ryan's name. She got she excited. Did. She heard Ryan. She got super. <laughs> um, all right, mom, I have a question for you, right? Yeah. 100% honest. Don't act like we're on camera. Nothing. Right? Okay. Now, if... You better ask it the right way. If I were to bring a girl to you, right, in the first week of me knowing her, like, I've been talking to her for a week, I really weird like her, or not weird. and I bring her to you to meet her, would that be weird? Yes. Yes! <laughs> wait, why? Thank you, because it's one with seven days! Wait. She could be gone by wait. tomorrow. Wait, Mom, why is that weird? It's not you. You wouldn't do that. You've never done that. But if any, if anyone, oh, she just called you out because you lied and said you did do that. Liar! No, he said he said if. He no, said she if. said you ain't done that. <laughs> Wait, okay. So if if I were to bring a girl to you in the first seven days, what would you say? He said he was thinking about. So if I was like, uh, hey, hey, mom, this is she so. She would think she's the one. <laughs> this is so and so. I met her seven days ago. I really like her a lot, and I wanted to meet you. What That's would you weird. say? That's weird. I would say, man, that girl's a heck of a girl because a catch. My son does not. Do that in seven, seven, eight, seven, eight. So you would really like that girl a lot. I would be shocked and very happy to meet her. Oh, you. So you'd be happy if I met, uh, if I introduced you to girl because in the first she seven would days. Be the one. Yes. See, thank you, mom. Okay, Cam's okay. gonna talk to you now. It's, it's your blue-eyed son on the line now. Don't let okay. Me Don't let me call um, Lolly. We're gonna go. We're gonna retract back about thirty seconds to the initial question. If you had to answer weird or not weird, your beautiful, loving boy Peyton, because you've known him his whole life. Knows a girl for six days Seven. and brings her on the seventh. 
is that weird or not weird? That's a little weird. Appreciate you. Love you, mama. Appreciate you. Love you, mama. <laughs> Wait, mom. Here, here, here's Peyton. Wait, mom. What if I were to say, hey, mom, I want to propose to her? Okay. What would you say? Wow. <laughs> She'd say, hell no. I would be a little concerned about that. Oh, well. So well, I guess I'm not going to introduce you to the girl I met seven days ago. You can introduce her to me, but I'd still say, babe. Oh, now you're going to get her all excited. <laughs> yeah, no, mom, there's no, there's no girl. <laughs> No, I'm not going. Okay, mom. Yes you. or no? Yesterday, there'll be about hundred thousand comments. <laughs> yes or no? Yesterday, <laughs> mom. Whenever, whenever I was on the, uh, I was on the phone with you and I met Cam at the Target and you asked me, "Is there a girl you get? What girl you get for Valentine's Day? What you, what are you gonna get your girl? What'd you say? You, I was like, mom, I don't have a girl. What'd you say? I said, oh, there's, there's some little something around somewhere. Some little something. <laughs> Boy, ma hey, mama's intuition is never wrong. <laughs> Yeah, of course you do. All right, Mom. Goodbye. I love you. Love you. All right. Well, I guess that is a little strange. Ryan, do you want to jump on real quick? You have to for the ending. Them? You got to. No, you have to. Come on. Come on, Ryan. Right Ryan. No, Ryan. 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 I want to get like a big debate between all love, five of us. The ladies love Ryan. Bit, a year a and a half later, do you still think That's lion or in. chicken? You right Shut up. You have to right here. The who? You're not in over there. Scoot a little bit. Are you well, drunk? Who are you speaking to? Scoot a little bit. Yeah. The whole gang. All right, we got the whole gang on the You Should Know podcast, episode 100. <laughs> Round of applause, please. Woo! I need She's a. So I need cute. a. Oh, you know what we should do? What? Cam, will you pull up your Discord real quick? We do. We would do a group Doctor P. Ooh. Let's help some love relationships out. Love relationships. Let's just get aired it. my shit online. <laughs> uh, Ryan, how do you feel about episode 100 while he's looking up stuff? Ryan's been, looking for eligible episode. ladies. So oh, we already said on the Patreon, hopefully we're going yeah, to try to help. His if, whole love story is on the Patreon. If you we're think in a flow you're state able at this to... Point. We're in a what? Huh? We're in a flow state at this point. Who is? What the hell does that mean? What's that mean? Like watching y'all go, it was like... It was oh, good. you're talking about us oh. as a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite memory of you should know through these 100 episodes? <laughs> That's a fucking big question. It is. I don't even know if I can favorite answer it. memory? Yeah. I would say the Dallas live show. That was a be my biggest, like... Because it was like I saw you in like a different light. Yeah, Aww. I was like celebrity. Because we light. didn't, oh, we didn't get you. to, we didn't know what the show was, so mm -hmm. we sat right next to each other. I love so that. We I got, love that we didn't. Ex we like get to, show the show we got to experience yeah. that like with each other. Like, oh my god, like I was getting like fangirling over my husband. I was like, oh shit, he's good. He real good. Yeah, yeah like y'all can perform for sure. Oh, Thank god. you. Yeah, that that I I remember that was like one of the best <laughs> things when we got off stage when all the friends and family came up. They were like, what the hell was that? Like yeah. that was like was cool. that was dope. But I think it's time to help some relationships out. Uh, Cameron, drop the beat. <laughs> Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Did Ruby's eyes? Little like Ruby. All right, so this question is a bit different. <clears throat> it's not completely filled with. To okay, what do you. Okay. You she likes that though. She loves her uncle. She's got she got a nice white belly, little small black nipples. Don't talk about her nipples. Don't so, talk about her nipples. Sorry. Cameron, read the thing. Read the question. Different question, not filled with complete toxicity, but certainly well, toxic. Toxicity. Okay. Certainly I, I toxic. It over your shoulder. It's definitely I toxic. Know. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. This this is a man. Okay. okay. This is a man a man submission. Is it? Did he address I, I, it I never to I never say names because I don't want to put people's. Did business. he address it to somebody? Uh no. He actually didn't, but I'll, I'll do it for him. Dr. P. Hello. I don't even know what to do. It feels like my girl to... My, mm. Come on, Cameron. Dr. P. Hello. I don't even know what to do. It feels like my girlfriend FaceTimes her guy best friend way more than me sometimes. I uh, know. I've said something to her, but I don't think she cares what I think about it. Oh. So can you help me with trying to do... With trying to figure out what to do. I'm going to go last. Oh, Everybody else go first. It's because she wait, doesn't wait, like wait, you as I'm, I'm much a... as she likes her best friend. She's not like her best friend. Leave her. Yikes. Okay. Uh, Liv? Um, or she's getting something from him that you're not giving her. Ah! No! Bollocks! Yes! <laughs> Leave! 
Oh, Honestly, no! I would feel some type of way. If Cameron was FaceTiming some girl Bimbo. that was her girl best friend, oh, no, we're not doing that. Granted, we're six years in married, so it's like, it's a little different. But obviously, it's if not. If you was FaceTiming Ashley, you wouldn't give a shit. No, it's because we're all, we're friends. Yeah, we're family. We're it's six, I would talk with Ashley. It's not like he's true. running the room FaceTiming Ashley by yeah. himself. Like, yeah, that'd be, gotta that'd go. be a little but weird. If but if y'all did find, if you found out he was FaceTiming Ashley, like, in y'all, like, randomly, you wouldn't be like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. You'd be like, no, yeah. but I'm saying, like, if he's FaceTiming her more than he talks to his own That other, is weird. That's yeah, where that we weird. draw the line. Because I would sit down and be like, hey, like, what's going on? Is he giving you some validation that I'm not? Like, let's talk yeah. about it. Because mm -hmm. that's he's what plotting. my role is supposed to be. And obviously, I'm not giving that to you. So either let's figure it out or... All right, can we? I'm not going to lie. Okay, me... Uh, definite red flag. I'm a very passive person, so I would definitely try to hear them out first. You know that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd be Stupid. like, I'd be like, could you tell me why? At least you'd be like, what's the conversation about? I'll go. What are you talking about? She's yeah, like, we're just talking about she's sports. She's like sports. I'm like, oh, it's sick. So I like LeBron. Yeah, that's that's way too much. Uh, I would definitely. <laughs> But the way I am, I wouldn't just destroy her dreams and everything right then and there. I would just distance myself. How do but you know that's her dream? The person, no, no, no. I'm just saying I wouldn't kill like everything do to do mean? with her. See, why dream? distance yourself? That's so toxic. That's even that's, more toxic. That's worse. No, like I would, I would because be quiet. Then and then once she asks why, I'd be like, no, go, go FaceTime your see, best friend. See, that's being petty. That is. That's some petty be stuff. Be a grown ass man and be leave. Be a grown ass man just and leave. Just go and tell her. But what if I don't, but what if I don't want to leave? What well, if I don't then why do you want to give her the that's silent treatment? Cousin. No, what if I don't. I no, get that. There's I no in between. That. You're either all in or you're all out. Yeah, no, like that's, that's not true. Silent treatment is not. Thing is, silent not treatment ready. is not a healthy coping mechanism. If you're not ready right, to therapist. leave yet, because exactly. you're still per my therapist. Exactly. exactly. That's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay, one at a time. That's what I'm saying. Ryan, I want to hear Ryan. Ryan, what would you do if your girlfriend? You had a girlfriend. She was facetiming her male best friend way more. Please keep it PC. If this was like. Four years ago, Ryan, I probably would have flipped out. Right now, though. Right now, I, I would act like it didn't phase me. Why? You'd stay with her? Like, I would stay with her until she's, like, done something Ryan, wrong. I, I, you would That's have settling. questions. I know that wouldn't you would bother have you? Okay, I would definitely question her, but I wouldn't go past question. I wouldn't act upset. The so questions what, wouldn't be upset. Sh what if her response is, you say, hey, babe, why are you FaceTiming him all the time? And she's like, I just love talking to him. And you're like, well, you talk to him more than me. Damn, she used the L word? Fuck. Yep. That's I her best friend. Out, that guy myself. is her best oh, yeah. friend. Damn is lofting on the low. Okay, this is what I would do. All right? Yes. Okay. This is what I'm going to. Dr. P, the best love doctor. Everybody, cross your legs and pay attention. <laughs> I can't cross them. Anymore. Cross them. I have to. Live? Cross them. Um, you can't I really too can't. close right now. <gasps> all right, so this is what I'm going to say to you, buddy. Dr. P, the best love doctor in the world. And I have my apprentice, Ruby, here. She's so cute, dog. Look at her. She's so she cool. looks so tired. Dead. This is what I'm going to say. Um, she <laughs> loves him. She loves him. She yeah. wants him. They have a special relationship that, that is built off of her. years that you can't give her. Yeah, you're attractive. Yeah, you're nice to her. Yeah, you, she gives, you get that romantic side from her. But they have, they have something. Chemistry. They have a foundation. <clears throat> and listen, bro. She's going to tell you, oh, that's just my friend. Be like, what are you talking about that we can't talk about? And she's gonna be like, oh, 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 oh. And you know what? Don't be mad at her. It's not her fault. It's not yours. It's not his. Everybody just got assigned to the wrong the assigned seat, right? Everybody's <laughs> on the wrong assigned seat. You just have to find where your table's at in the lunchroom. <laughs> and you gotta go over there to your table. She's with that table. That's where she belongs. That's where he belongs. You belong at a different table. And guess what? There's gonna be somebody at that table ready for you that you that deserve that 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 deserves you that you deserve. Right. Yeah. You're just sitting at the wrong table, mm. and y'all are y'all are trying to mix friend groups. Or Don't do that. Just like or like, just yeah. you know do what she did. Find a girl best friend yeah. and see how she reels. Ha see how she feels to really test Ooh. her feelings. Actually, you. Ashlyn getting toxic. Ashlyn That's toxic as hell, Ashlyn. Uh, well, if That's she can have a guy shit. best friend, then he can have a girl best friend. But what if, if she sees don't, no Ashley issue? Don't play about about best friends. But what if they naturally? What if they naturally? Because the best friends always turn out to be the lovers. But what if she? What if? What dump if he, her. But dump what if he, her. Okay, but what if he doesn't have a best friend? What girl best friend? They got hinge for friends. That's yeah, a thing. Got, they got bumble yeah. friends. I've seen it on TikTok. <laughs> and Dude, since it's episode 100, really I know y'all are all tired and drunk. But this is what I have to say. We have to do people's favorite segment. I'm not gonna lie to you. What? It's our people's favorite segment. segment. You know what that is? 
Pop culture, pay in the camp. Pop culture, pay in the camp. Bow. I'm going to keep mine super, super short. This is pre recorded before the Tampa show, Saturday night, February 17th. We are record recording. Cameron, no one wants to talk about WWE or UFC. <laughs> oh my god. You said that every week. Give, give us some You were going to talk about the Tampa live show? I was literally going to talk about our Tampa live show. My oh. wife said, don't talk about the WWE, and she slapped me in the head. Get the hell off me. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. No. There, hey, there is a UFC fight the same night. Yeah, there is. Anyway, uh, February 17th, we are performing in Tampa it's happened, in Clearwater. It's already happened. It was fantastic. Can't wait to I'm hear everything. Me. Meet all the people. Meet and greet. It's going to be fantastic. That's my pop culture. Can't wait to do it. Can't wait to see you. That's cute. Cool story. Um, Austin Live Show is coming up, and guess what? We need another round of applause because the Austin Live Show is sold out. A round of applause. Woo! Austin Live Show is sold out. The hometown show. So excited for that. We have the summer tour coming up. Uh, we're going to – where are we going? Las Vegas, Denver, Washington. Vegas, Denver, Washington, D.C., Houston, Philadelphia. Chicago, Philly, and – Arizona. Phoenix. 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 Summer Live Show. Beautiful. We're going to take a long time off of touring, probably about the whole – until 2025. And then we're going to, we can't say yet, but there's going to be great stuff coming. And then for the people that the city we didn't come to, there's going to be a special treat for you too. Don't worry about it. We're going to make sure everybody gets love. We love you so much. Uh, pop culture. Uh, it's episode 100. We are the pop culture. Hey, you should know I like that. Pop pop culture. Culture. I like that. And that Talk was people's that favorite segment. segment. You know what that was? Pop, pop culture. Payton and Cam. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. If y'all don't goddamn sing. I was singing. Ready? Pop culture, Peyton and Cam. Pop culture with Peyton and Cam. Um, That kind of took all the announcements, too. That was everything. Uh, that, was, that was everything. I don't, don't want to. A great episode. Watch it's, One Day on Netflix if you want to cry. No, my God. No. no. <laughs> but this story. was episode 100, 100 of the You Should Know podcast. We absolutely love y'all. We could not be here. We cannot be at episode 100 without you. Your secret code to get your good karma, confuse the casuals, is very, very simple. To one zero zero. One zero zero. One hundred. Right leave it everywhere. We love y'all so much. Thank you for coming back. Tampa, we will, we would have already been there and hung out with y'all. Had a great time. Everyone else, we'll see you again next week. We absolutely love y'all. We love y'all so, so, so Gotta damn untie much. the dress shoes for it. Thank you for allowing us to do 100 episodes. I know this episode was a little different. It was a little longer. It was more just like a celebratory episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, everybody, the new logo is out. So all you uh, imposter accounts, go and change your profile picture because that's a new one. Um, <laughs> Austin, oh, we'll see. You. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. oh, my goodness. Shout out to Logan. Mama, Mama Lou, don't play. Mama Lou, don't play. Round of applause for Logan when we're talking about the new logo. Everybody, round of applause for Ruby. Yay, Yay Ruby. Get off me. Um, Ruby, I love you so much. Thank you for being my little protective blanket. One more time for Auntie Ashlyn. One more time for Ryan. One more time for Mama Liv. Mama Liv. And one big round of applause for the You Should Know Podcast family. We love you. Woo. Love y'all so much. And remember, oh wait, y'all oh gotta get y'all's confetti poppers. I'm so sorry. I know y'all wanna leave. Y'all gotta we spent money on them. So can y'all get the y'all's confetti poppers? <laughs> Alright, guys, that was episode 100 of the You Should Know podcast. We love you so much. And remember, one, one out, out of ten, ten. qualifiers oh, bears don't make it home to Christmas. <laughs> and we will see you Hello? on episode 101. See you next time! Woo! Wait. Oh wow, that was lame. Oh, oh, mine didn't even Woo! work. What the fuck? Yay. We still love y'all. <laughs> we love y'all. <laughs> we love you so much. We'll see you next time. It's a cute little dud to end the episode.